Carl, it's what we've all been waiting for. Oh, chimpanzee that monkey news. All right, well, this one sent in from uh, from Sam in New York, right? And it's about a fire that happened, right, in a really... Do you know, like, in New York, they have loads of big buildings, don't they? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right, really, really tall ones and stuff. Yeah. yeah. And um, there was a fire in one of them, right? So they did as expected. They called up, you know, fire brigade and that. They turned up, right? Uh, fire engine parked up. It's like, right, where's the fire? And they said, oh, it's on, like, a uh, floor 100 or whatever. And they said, oh, no, we've brought the fire engine with the short ladders. <laughs> Stupid mistake, but go on. Right. So anyway, so they said, well, how are we going to get up there? Yeah. Yeah. Right. We can't. But they've only brought the short ladders. No, we can't. Let's go home. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Forget that it. was uh, monkey news. So, uh, so they said, well, there's a lot of, like, grippage. <laughs> Because they, they made up words, the uh, firemen, yeah, the NYPD firemen. <laughs> There's a lot of grippage! On the yeah. side of the building uh. and stuff. So anyway, they said, why don't we just go and get a monkey, right? So they oh. got, they got <laughs> a monkey. Whoa, Whoa, yeah. That's is a bit that, of a jump. Is they that just... policy now in, uh, in, in the New York Fire Department? Well, the, you know, you've got to think quick, haven't you, at the end of the day. If people are up there, you don't yeah. you don't start querying if it works or not. You try everything that, that you can to, yeah. to help someone out, right? That's the first thing I thought of, was it, a monkey? So it was quicker for them to go and get a monkey than to go back and get the long ladders? Why don't they get Spider-Man? <laughs> <Okay>, fair <laughs> enough. Why don't they get Spider-Man? <laughs> yeah, cool Spider-Man. Yeah, cool Spider-Man. So anyway, so they got they got a monkey down there, and they said, right, well, where did they get it from? We don't know from the local zoo or something. Oh yeah, yeah. So they said, look, let's uh, you know we've got to remember there's there could be someone up there, um, right. and it'll shock them a bit if, <laughs> if, if, a monkey, looking out, if a monkey comes in, right? Yeah. So they said, yeah, I don't think they'd care. Get it their, their building's on fire. They're not going to yeah. go. Oh, that's weird. There's a monkey at the window. <laughs> They'd be screaming, <laughs> save me! Oh, there's, there's a monkey. No, so away anyway, from them. So they said, right, we'll just get it a little small uniform and that, the smallest you've got. <laughs> but whoa, but hold on though. Actually, where are you going to get that? I'm going back to the um, going back to the uh, station. We'll get the long ladders while you're there. No time. No time. No, I, I no. bought the small uniform. I just didn't bring the long <laughs> yeah. ladders. <laughs> So oh. anyway, it goes up there. It's got all the kit on and what. It's yeah. got its little adder on and all that. It grabs. Uh, there was there was like a little person up there. Manages to grab that. No, a little. You, who was up there then? It was just someone just a, that was just the right size for a monkey to be able to rescue, which is handy. Because <laughs> if it'd been anyone else, like a larger person or a family, we'd all be yeah. screwed. No, I don't know about the size of it, but it's just the story saying how like uh, it was quite a big, big monkey, and that it was good at breaking down doors. Oh yeah, uh, it was good at climbing into small spaces and oh, stuff yeah. like that. Anyway, but it managed it's big, to, so it's big enough to carry a, a fully grown man, but small enough to climb through a a, a cat flap. Yeah, sure. so uh, which is handy. So anyway, it managed to. You know, get the person. boots on as well. It got got the person and everything, and uh, now it says it. You know, it's sort of uh, it's on call if if they ever need it again. <laughs> sure, and if they ever get anywhere again and they've forgotten the long ladders, but there's plenty of grippage, they just call for cocoa. <laughs> so that's this week's monkey news. Bollocks. Ah, now ah, this could be interesting. Now that noise. Do you want to explain, Steve? I will. I've just sent a text to this number that some of you may have heard of, 63336. Now, apparently, this is a number you can uh, send a text to, and it will answer any question that you have for it. And in the past, for instance, I sent it um, quite some quite profound questions. I once asked it, um, should they have dropped the second bomb on Nagasaki, and it had a very thoughtful answer. So we've sent it a question, perhaps equally thoughtful. Carl Pilkington believes in ghosts. Is he an idiot? Now, we sent that because this is the Halloween special. These podcasts are, are three one-off free specials, and they're free because we want to thank people who, uh, who paid um, for, the, for the audio books we did, the, uh, the last two series, so thank you for that. I've just bought a, a flat in New York, and Steve's just bought a lovely BMW. Mercedes. Oh, is it a Mercedes? Yeah. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. I haven't seen it yet. Yeah. Carl's having his kitchen done and his boiler replaced. Still not happy. But, um, yes, thank you. Um, uh, the back catalogue is still available um, in audio books on iTunes, but these are three free ones. Anyway, the question we asked 6336, Carl Pilkington believes in ghosts, is he an idiot? And this is the response. Unusually, producer Carl Pilkington is both an idiot and a comic genius. His humour is not to everyone's taste, however. That's amazing. <laughs> That's the response. But it's curious because it doesn't really answer our question about ghosts. Send them, do you believe in ghosts? Okay. This is the Halloween special, of course. That's why we're talking about ghosts. Carl, do you believe in ghosts? Uh, yeah. I mean, I haven't, 
I haven't seen like a proper a proper ghost. So why do you believe in something that uh, there's no evidence for? Yeah, you but know? what what why are we here then? If if it is just sort of you're born, right? And when I mean we are useless, at least other creatures when they're born. Well, you speak for yourself. No, but they're born. Other creatures are born to do a job, aren't they? When a bee's born, you know what that's going to be doing. It hasn't got any <laughs> options. That's got a job to do. And it does that job, and it dies, and the next one comes along. Oh, we asked it. Do you believe in ghosts? The existence of ghosts is not proven. Many experiments have claimed to identify ghosts, but none have been scientifically sound. Excellent. See yeah, that, that, that's that, just, that, that's but that? But that, that's a sensible, intelligent, logical, thoughtful answer. Weird things have happened to me when uh, mm. I was living at home, and uh, I was in bed one Where'd night. Where do you live now? No, but I was at my first home. Your mm. parents? Yeah, my mum and dad's. Mm. So I'm in bed and uh, I'm lying there, and you know you get that sense of like, uh, oh, there's something going on, mm. and uh, I sort of look over my quilt, and there's nothing there thinking it's weird that so uh turn me back on it i'm thinking i don't want to know if there is something there i don't want to know right <laughs> so i'm turning me back on it but then there's like a really high-pitched noise right sort of the hairs on my back are like going up a bit and i'm like oh i don't like this and it's the, the high-pitched noise yeah the hairy back even as a kid no but you know everyone's got little hairs on them aren't they everyone's got little tiny hairs on them and mm. stuff and uh and I thought, oh, I can't stand this, and, and I turned around, put the light on, legged it downstairs, mm. right? And my mum's saying, what are you doing? I'm going, oh, I don't know, there's something up there. So she said, all right, then watch the telly. So I stayed up for a bit, mm. uh, watching the telly, went back to bed, the high-pitched noise had gone, went to sleep, get up the next day, Charlie from next door comes round, he goes, Hilda's dead, mm. right? And uh, my dad said, oh, when did that happen? He said, last night at quarter to eleven. Right. That's, that's when I was in bed. So? What, what are you telling me for? Because it's weird, isn't it? It's that thing of, uh, would, would, would you think it'd be weirder that, uh, no one ever died at quarter to eleven when you were in bed? No, but that's when all the weirdness was going on. That's when the tone was happening, my back was getting itchy and stuff, and- Coincidence. And I went down and watched telly, went back up, gone and that, but that's when her spirit had sort of- No, no. Ah, okay, right, interesting. No, this, this is where we get into the facts. So Hilda's spirit- had left Was whizzing round, whizzing round my yeah. bedroom, because my bedroom was right next door to theirs. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So I'm just saying, that's, that's one- Why that's did they- why do they whiz round when what? they- when they die? Why do spirits whiz round when they die? Because they're going, where am I going? Are they? Right, and they're whizzing round, aren't they? Am I going down? Am I going up? No, no, that's Carl. Oh, no, no, but- I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, but it's n it's not gonna be easy, is it? How do you think it works? It doesn't work. But once again, it's not proof of anything, Carl. Mm. Beyond the fact that you were a child, in bed. Why did your dad ask what time she died? No, he, he just sort of, you know, what do you say to someone when- it's- it's awkward, isn't it? When someone gives you bad news, so you just think, well, what can I ask? Oh, what time, oh, when, when? What time, what time exactly? did that happen? Sorry? No, just, what, you just go, oh, Exactly what, what, what time did she die? Uh, my no, wife, my wife passed away. Yeah, well, what time exactly? <laughs> no, not exactly, he just said, no. oh, that's bad, when did that happen? Like, what right. time? And he said, well, thanks for asking. Quarter to eleven. Quarter to eleven. Well, quarter to eleven. Quarter to eleven, I remember what did distinctly. They say, what did they say last night? I mean, that's weird, isn't it? Convenient, aren't they, all these stories? Or is it, or, yeah, I mean, it's either that's exactly what happened, Rick, or he's, he's misremembering the, the yeah. actual I don't, I don't, I don't know which one <laughs> to plump for. But, I'll tell you this, though. Go on. You know, if we're talking about ghosts and that. Yeah. Mm. Now, Ilda. Yeah. Uh, choose your bog standard old woman. <laughs> <laughs> right. right. I hope that's on the gravestone. Yeah, I know, yeah. <laughs> no, did you, just, did you do the eulogy? No, you know. <laughs> that is great. <laughs> you, you what can we that? say about Ilda? <laughs> Bog standard old woman. Right, there's sandwiches at the bar. <laughs> That's the most insulting thing you could ever say. There's nothing. No. <laughs> Let's just think about Hilda that lived her life. <laughs> Thank you for coming to celebrate the life of Hilda, who died at quarter to eleven specifically, and was a bog standard old woman. <laughs> Are we burning or burying? But anyway, but she lived to be quite old. Mm. Which annoyed you. And, but yeah, no, in a bog standard way. But this is what I was saying about us all living too long and stuff. Mm. It just, it just makes it worse when it does come to us being a ghost. I don't know what you're talking <laughs> about know, again. That sentence made no sense. 
just, if you are gonna be haunted, right, say, I know you're gonna say, well, I don't believe in them, so I'm not worried, so don't be going on about it. Mm -hmm. But say, like, you know, your new place that you've bought, you move in, and you go to bed, and there's something moving about the room. Mm. You see it, mm. it's a ghost. Oh, no. Okay, look, let, let's, for the sake More of argument, likely, a Siamese cat called Ollie. No, because that's probably got its own room, right? <laughs> <laughs> but what I'm saying is, would you prefer to have an old person moving about looking at you, or just a young person? I'd prefer a youngish person who looks normal and he's sort of floating about and you go, oh, right. that That looks normal, floating about. No, but, but an old woman would really scare me. Some ghosts are always gonna have a bad reputation because they look scary because they're old. So that's... You talk absolute shit. That's all I'm saying, so... We Can you believe going... we ever charged for this? No, but look, <laughs> if, if we are going into another life, right, after this... Which we're not We move yet. on to another life. Yeah. We're not gonna move on. That land, say if it is like another world, where we go and we plough fields and we grow crop it, crop. Croppage. We grow crop. Crops. Uh, crops, if you want. Yeah, um, well I would like to use the English language. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's too much fruit about, so just a crop. Just something we need too to get back. fruit <laughs> about. <laughs> He's got an answer for everything. That's so we grow some crop. Yeah. yeah. So you grow your crop, and uh, now if we're all going into that other land or world or universe, mm. old, who's gonna do the cropping? <laughs> <laughs> oh god! Oh, you! I, I've never heard so much crop in my life. <laughs> it's a load of old crop. I, I had to go for a an ultrasound, right? Isn't that what you do if you're pregnant? Yeah, but they, they, do you know I've had kidney stones? Are you expecting? That we talked about it in the, in the other podcast and that that we've done, right? Uh, I've had a kidney stone. I don't want to go on about it. Uh, but it hurt, it was painful and that. Well, you are going on about it. Yeah, yeah and there's no, nothing. No, I'm just saying. It's routine, don't worry about it's it. It's not routine. Well, uh, why do they have to keep going back then? Why do they have to keep going back? You're, you're yeah. questioning me. You're getting into a routine, yourself. keep going back. It's better than working, it? You don't have to promote you know, sell the book. No, no, holiday or hospital. Holiday or hospital. Holiday or hospital. I don't know. I just say that we've got a book out, right? The World of Carl Pilkington. It's, it's, it's out now. When he goes on holiday the first week, right? Uh, he, he's in and out of hospital. He's doing no good. He's got to go in again. He goes away with his family like twice a year. He goes away with Suzanne's family twice a year. He's now said he doesn't want to do any press for it because it's boring, or he doesn't want. Why don't you? Why don't you plug in the book? I mean, if you if you're an author, you've got to get behind. I've it. bought books without hearing someone telling me to buy stuff. No, you're you la buy you're stuff. lazy. You're no, lazy. I'm, I'm not lazy. It's just that I'm sick and tired of putting telly on or the radio and having people telling me, "Oh, you've got to buy this. You've got to buy that." No, I don't have to do anything. I'll have a look myself when I'm in a bookshop. Let them just find it. But there are hundreds and thousands of books, Carl. They may not find it. Well, just You're trying to look. direct them towards it. I'm, I don't want to direct them to it. I just, you know, if you come across it, but most why of have the you books... put all this work into this book? All these illustrations you've done in extra material. Because I enjoyed it for me. Right, but you don't want anyone to read it. Yeah, so they why will just put it, it in the drawer? Will, they will read it. They'll they'll find it. People will find it. It's in the shop, isn't it? I'm always finding little books on different things and what have you. Yeah, you don't read them. You read the first couple of lines and you get it wrong. What, you know. It, it... I'll tell you. I'll tell you something. I do know. Go on. Right. But I, I can't really get a question out of it. Go on, just tell us. There's a shadow somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's already good, isn't it? I'm loving no, it already. No, no, right? There's a shadow. I think it was in America. Yeah. And uh, it's on a quiet road. I, I'm guessing somewhere like Boston. That's what I, I well, imagine. <laughs> okay. Right? No, 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 no. Somewhere yeah. like Boston, and people at night used to see this shadow moving about, and they'd go, "What's that?" Right? And, and it got known that the town, the little local town, got known for this shadow, but it didn't cause any problems. People what are you to... talking about? Well, it was <laughs> Just like... you've lost me. What are you talking no, about? No, do you know like some places get famous, like uh, Scotland's got the Loch Ness monster and that, but nah, it doesn't cause any. Yeah. But it doesn't cause any problems. It doesn't exist. Go on. Right. So there's this shadow walking about on the road. And, what? Uh... what do you mean? No. What's he again? <laughs> Rubbish. Right. So it's nonsense. Walking about... Where did you read this? Where did it's you see this? He's walking about. This was on the internet. And I'm oh, sure... sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I thought it was shite. <laughs> I didn't know it was on the internet. Right, so this shadow is moving about and God, uh... Independently of and, an object. Yeah, and the, and the local mayor and that is like, yeah, it's a bit weird, but it's not harming anyone. <laughs> <laughs> the mayor involved! <laughs> hey, was he mayor? elected to that post? Hey, hey, mayor, we got a problem down here, seems like a shadow. <laughs> uh, well, it's not causing any problems. No, it's, <laughs> it's just causing any problems. Yeah, go but on. That's, but that's the thing, it was left for years and then it did start causing problems. <laughs> <laughs> I see, that's it. If you leave these shadows to go unchecked, Rick, they go crazy. Yeah. You let them run amok in the yeah. city. Yeah. You've got to stab what around did they do? on what did they Roman do? shadows. What did, what did the shadow do? 
it was pushing people off the bikes. <laughs> it was what? It was pushing people off the bikes. <laughs> oh, I'll, fi I'll find out more for that next week. <laughs> right, that'll tease Oh, them. you're a maniac! We'll do more on that. We haven't had time for educating- Please never have children. Right, listen. <laughs> Just promise me now you'll never have kids. But we haven't got time. Okay, now, listen. So. All right, DJ Shadow, have we got time for these to give these tickets away? Yeah, if they just call up, we'll. No, um, I'll tell you what. I've got a question. Right, go on. where do you? Th where does Carl think this may have taken place? If you've been listening to the show, where do you think this evil shadow has been running amok? Let us know. The number, Carl? Uh, ooh, Good question. 08700 800 1234. Excellent. So, uh, but that's it. We are that's actually it. out of time. We are indeed. Have I, got, have I got time for a song for the ladies? It's a bit tight. I was Why? told to finish now. Too. I know, but we've got to get finished early today, so. Why? Just because we have and we're wasting more time talking about why we have to. Oh, this is pathetic. So, <laughs> the call up. Uh, where did I see the ghost? Yeah. And you've got to pick the tickets up from reception. You can go tonight see DJ Shadow. Shoddy, That's it. this right? is shoddy. Right, see you then. <laughs> <laughs> have we got a cheeky freak of the week? Do you want one? Yeah. yeah. Let's. Let, I think we should have a jingle for this. Okay, I've got. I've. Uh, yeah, I've got a jingle. It's very similar to chimpanzee. Ch chimpanzee, that. Yeah. Well, let's hear it. Let's hear it. Okay. Oh, cheeky freak of the week. Brilliant. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, no, I think that's excellent. So, Cheeky okay. Freak of the Week, you've spotted a this freak is where, week? This is where somewhat, I think, offensively, you pick on someone who's who's not like other people and say it's your favourite freak of that week. Yeah, I remember we had the woman whose uh, legs look like the hind legs of a dog. Um, we've had the little fella with the aging disease, with the little head playing the piano. That's sh that was your favourite. I think that's your probably freak of the year, isn't it? It's a so, pretty good one. So, wh what, 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 what's this? Is it a man um, with a, a horrendous injury, or is it a congenital, um, birth defect, or what? Yeah, but you put it like that, and now it sounds like I'm being tight. It sounds like I'm being out of order. But I'm just giving him a mention. <laughs> <laughs> just giving him a big shout out. Right. Yeah. Uh, there's <laughs> quite a lot going on in the freak world. <laughs> um, <laughs> Always is. <laughs> you've, what, you've been visiting hospitals the last week, have you, when we were away? No, there was a, there was a thing on the, on a website. This isn't even the one that I've picked, so. So this is just a bonus. This is a bonus freak. Yeah. yeah, go on then. Uh, uh, this is a free freak. Right? <laughs> yeah. um, it's a, it's a uh, fella, it's a fella called the Lobster Man. <laughs> the Lobster Man, of course. <laughs> Again, good name, you know what you're gonna get. Yeah. Right. <laughs> what are you gonna get? He's some got. some succulent <laughs> meat. I like the idea. With... That, I like the idea that the vicar on the christening suggested that. <laughs> I know you want to call him Mark. Can I make a suggestion? <laughs> yeah. Look at his yeah. What's his name? <laughs> uh, Mark Michael uh, Webster. Right. Um. Right. Uh, uh, yeah. Have, have you thought about a nickname? Not really. No. Have you? No, have you asked? Yeah. It, we, we don't want to talk about that because. Do you know they look a little bit like lobsters? Well, yeah, but it's quite deformed. It's a, like you know we can't suggest lobster man. <laughs> That's terrible, Vicar. <laughs> that is terrible, Vicar. We're- Pidgey. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, then. Yeah. We're gonna go see. This is what the sort of feature you come up with, Carl. So, Lobster Man. There's probably people listening now with, you know, lobster feet. Right. Lobster hands. So, um- Squid Boy. <laughs> so, Lobster Man, what does, uh, what does Lobster Man do? Does he uh, fight crime? Not that much. Okay. Apparently he got into a bit of trouble. He was in a restaurant and, uh, this was years ago by the way. <laughs> and someone picked him to eat him? No, so yeah. the, apparently yeah. the waiter, uh, said, oh, you shouldn't be sat here, you should be in my, my pan or something. Oh dear. And it, uh, they had a fight, got out of hand. Yeah. Uh, got out of claw. And, uh, yeah, yeah, so that, that was- What do you mean they had a fight? What did, what, what, I mean, what did uh, he do? A waiter took the mickey out of someone yeah. with- I don't know. No, can I just make clear? I'm assuming it's his hands look a bit like those of a lobster. Yeah. Yeah, well, it's fused, so it's just like two big fingers. They're right. fused, I assume, probably in the womb, and they're just like, instead of like having yeah, five yeah, digits, yeah. they're fused in it. But it, well, he can pick stuff up, can't he? Yeah. What does he pick up? He mainly eats crabs and jellyfish, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he was having a fight with the waiter, he, he snipped off his nose. <laughs> Right, so anyway, he just he just held on to the waiter's bib. Yeah, exactly, and the waiter was yeah. screaming, "Go and get him off me!" Yeah. So yeah. anyway, does he eat other lobsters? Does he? <laughs> does he think he would eat lobster? <laughs> or is it kind of? <laughs> do, uh, would he feel bad about eating lobster? Right. The, the little cheek of the freak that we've gone for, anyway. <laughs> the what? The little uh, freak of the week. Yeah. Cheeky freak of the week. Mm. We've gone for um, this Siamese lad. Okay. Right. 
happened back in. Uh, you can't have a Siamese lad, can you? All right. Yeah. This Siamese twins uh, happened back in 1693. Oh, he's got a date. Blindness, first time ever. Yeah. Um, and all it was, he was he was doing all right for himself. He, he used to go on the like those circus things he used to do. They're two people you're talking about, Carl. So we're going to him. All right then. All right. They 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 did this circus show, right? Yeah. And uh, everything's going well. The, the, you know, they, they're selling out the tents and stuff, people coming to see them. Yeah. Um, he was doing all right for himself. Yeah. Right? Did, um, sorry, before I said that, did you think a Siamese twin was a man with two heads? Well, it can be, can't it? It depends. Um, there is, there's, there's, there's two people, they're conjoined. No, 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 but it depends, doesn't it? The one that I showed you in that book that time was a fellow with two heads. No, it wasn't. That was, that was a, 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 a stupid picture in one of your stupid books that he had a growth that looked a little bit like it had a face on it. It wasn't a man with two heads. You're the same sort of people who send potato chips to restaurants and say, doesn't it look like Norman Cook? Yeah. It's not two heads. <sighs> we'll bend this feature. No! Well, no, it's, it's just, they're uh, two people. They're two people, conjoined twins. Yeah. Right. So these they just, have, they just happen to have a similar taste in clothes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, so there's, yeah, they were doing all right, and it all went wrong when he crossed the road, got run over. The lad with two heads got run over. That's it. <laughs> what? How is that? How is that cheeky freak of the week? Just, beca just because it got my interest and I kind of thought, why didn't it just look both ways? <laughs> <laughs> I'm intrigued to know Why you... wasn't he looking both ways? <laughs> I'm intrigued oh. to know how you, uh, how you get run over and what was it, 1629? Yeah. Well, it's horses and that, aren't it? Yeah. Oh, why wasn't he looking both ways? <laughs> Carl, Carl Pilkington, you are a genius. Play a record, you fool. Well done, Carl. More cheeky freak of the week next week. See what's going on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> talk then. Someone should talk. It's obviously already, already a shambles. Can you believe that? I, I, I'm amazed that we're back on the air and it's already a shambles. What are you doing? What? What are you talking about? I'm talking. No one was speaking. The record was ending. No one was speaking. It was just Kate. Well, I might shoot off. <laughs> already, I might shoot off. It's Been like we've, nothing's changed. Boys are back in town. On XFM 104.9. We're back then, aren't we, Carl? Mm. I'm Ricky Gervais, with me Stephen Merchant and Carl Pilkington. I'm not coming back, I'm definitely not coming back. Oh, 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 care, care someone, care that I'm not coming back. Rick, I seem to remember the end of, yeah, the end of the last time we were on, what yeah. was that, three months ago? Yeah, three months Carl ago. Carl said he's never going to do the show again, there yeah. was nothing that was going to bring him back, yeah. he didn't enjoy it, wasn't going to do it. All the rules, right? Really? Yes. Um, I've, I've known him co coming back for so about two months, you know, because he's got our agent now representing him. Well, well, I, I thought he was a fool, really. Why? Well, what, what's yeah. he done for me? What's well, he done for us? No, I know, but I mean, he's, he's your agent, and so, uh, and he's sort of calling Graham. And it was all a con, so Carl could get Mondays off. Poor Graham, the station's struggling enough as it is. Yeah. It's like running around like a headless chicken. Yeah. No one's listening, no one's listening. That's why I don't bother talking with a record then, because there's, no, there's no loss sure. to London. <laughs> sure. Right? It's, it's, it's pointless, this show. We don't do it for the money, we don't do it for the kudos. I don't know why we do it. No. Is there anything on telly at this time? I could have had a lie in. I know. But, um, it's all a ruse to get Mondays. He's got Mondays off now, because he has to do the show, two hours, two right? Hours. And he's still getting paid. And it's all a con, because he knows that he's holding him over a barrel, and he's, it, it's like, oh, we've got to keep Carl happy. Mm. Right? I, I, had, I had Mondays and Tuesdays off before Duncan got involved. <laughs> 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 no, do you know what I mean, though? And it's like, poor Graham, who's the MD, the, uh, in charge of the thing, probably pulling his hair out, worrying about the station, right? You know, it's a sinking ship. And then Carl comes and well, I, I, you know, I'll do it, but I want Mandos off. They, uh, he's probably sitting home now. His family, he's probably ridiculed by yeah. his well, wife. Well, his kids almost certainly would have lost all respect for him. That he's been fooled mates, by Carl Pilkington. He calls his mates and goes, oh, I'm, I'm busy, Graham. I don't, yeah. you know, I just can't think. Uh, it's just... It's, it's embarrassing. Just, but it's, do you know what I mean? And you think it's funny and you think you've got one over him. He's going, oh, Mandos off for two enough. hours. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. You think, oh, and now you're now embarrassed. We've said it on air. But uh -huh. you're, only, you're, only, you're only conning yourself in the long run because... Do you know what I mean? It, it, it's I hate that sort of the world owes me a living. How much can I get? What can I get out of the world? What are you going to give back to the world, Carl? What are you doing now? Then you're going to prepare Monday. No, what have you prepared for this show now? You've had three months to prepare. Yeah. What have you? What have you got? What have you got for us? Okay. What's happened in the last three months? 
Uh, what? In this place or just my life? Well, what have you got for us? We three months, we're cloning them back, you get Mondays off, you're getting paid for it, you've got a cushy deal, you're having a laugh, you're taking the piss out of the management, right? So, what have you got for us? Give it to us. We've, we, I've kind of, uh, updated Rockbusters a bit. <laughs> right? Brilliant. Yeah. Right. So, and uh, you said don't mess with it, if something's good, don't mess with it. What do you mean it wasn't good? <laughs> it was never good. It was never good, no, of course we had good. to fix it. It was fun to do, it was a laugh. I mean, much more, I imagine it was much more fun for me than the 450 <laughs> listeners. <laughs> I you know what I mean? I enjoyed it. I enjoyed squeezing your head and dressing you up. No, but that's just it. When I had a meeting with, with Graham, right, I said, look, I'm not being funny. I don't want to do it anymore. Yeah. I've had enough of it. Yeah. And he was like, oh, what's up with you? you? You sounds like you have a right good laugh. I said, yeah, but that's, that's, you know, that's all good acting and stuff. I said, it's hell in there. <laughs> Um, I said, like I, he's talking about Vietnam. Yeah. I said, like having, get... having me head squoze, right? <laughs> what? Squoze? Squoze is still not a word. We've been away three months, it's still not a word. Right? Yeah. I said he's putting a dustbin lid on me head. Yeah. <laughs> you told this to the ND! He's, he's hitting me with a tray. Yeah. Uh, he's chucking toilet paper at me. Yeah. And he said, yeah, but that's all over two years. I said, no, that was the same day. <laughs> <laughs> So, okay then. Story, wouldn't it? So anyway, that reminded me because we were talking about other amazing stuff that Ricky told me to find out about. Steve, are you aware of bonobos? We mentioned them earlier. I'm not particularly familiar with bonobos. Right. Yeah, it sounds like a cream cake. No, they were they were um, a, a, a sort of a, a chimpanzee, but more advanced than the, the, the traditional chimpanzee. They, they live uh, uh, in one sort of particular area, and. Um, you know, it's the sort of closest animal to the missing link. They're very intelligent. They take on a lot of social aspects of um, human. They have sex for um, pleasure mm -hmm. and no other. Steve's looking uh, annoyed. <laughs> 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 He's done, yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, what did you find no, out apparently about? Apparently, I found out it's 98% not human, this kind of thing. It's nearly human. But it's not. We share 98% of DNA yeah, with it. Yeah, 98%. Yeah. It's a higher percentage um, than you. <laughs> <laughs> they have sex for pleasure. They do look a bit like him, though. They've got a little round head, haven't they? But, and they um, sort of, they're much more upright than the, you know, they've got a more well, flexible. I, I sort of get bored with animals that are like classed as being <laughs> intelligent, right? So when you tell me. <laughs> I get bored with them. Because yeah. they're not doing enough. They're exactly. not playing no, Nintendo. No, do, you know, do you know, like, that people always rave on about dolphins saying, yeah. oh, they're really bright and that? Yeah. You know, um,. I was having an argument with Suzanne about it, and she goes, oh yeah, dolphins are really intelligent. And I said, but what? What have they done? So, <laughs> she said, <laughs> well, they, they use them in wars, they strap bombs to the back to go out to boats, yeah. to then blow up the boats. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. they're trained, yeah. Well, that isn't that bright. If it was really bright, it'd go, I'm not doing that. Well, no, they leave them. They don't blow themselves up. They, ang anyway, but- All Right, well. So anyway, so bonobos, um, Really bright and that. Mm. Now, I was looking at them, mm. and they are, you know, they, they're saying, the the, you know, they they just like humans, basically, right? Mm. Well, what I was thinking is, I didn't have a chance to ask you, um, if you got a mentalist, right, and put the bonobo in what an exam. Mean, what, okay, right, okay. What do you mean a mentalist? What do you mean? Well, you know, someone who's you know, a little bit, uh, just a little bit slower than me, and put an put them in an exam. What would happen? Right. Okay. You've got to be clearer here, Carl. What What are you saying? Are you saying pit the wits of a bonobo against someone who's educationally subnormal? Yeah. What do you reckon? <laughs> I again, <laughs> I don't know where to start. I, no, but no. if they're that good, why aren't they being used in, uh, in labour and stuff? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> what? It, what in the in the late? What do you mean in no, the government? Like, you know, like <laughs> some some jobs that they could do. Why well, hasn't someone could, caught onto it and thought, well, hang on a minute? Sorry, right. I, I'm not familiar with the bonobo. Seriously, could it do a job of work? How how advanced are these well, creatures? They, uh, lots of animals do job of work. I, I think Carl wants this bonobo to start going to work. Uh, uh, with an umbrella and a bowler hat, and uh, have sort of like rudimentary language skills, like morning, <laughs> morning. <laughs> so the bonobo, so I couldn't employ the bonobo to be my PA. It's um, not. I mean, how advanced are they? Could could I no. could I teach you to go in the shops and collect something and well, bring yeah, it? Well, yeah, but you can teach a dog to do that. 
Yeah. It depends what you mean by intelligence, social interaction, uh, also dexterity capability, you know. Could uh, it produce this show? <laughs> yes! I, I just thought it could, <laughs> randomly. Yeah. Uh, um, just by pressing the buttons it could do a better it, job. It's, it depends what you're asking, Carl. It, well, I mean, what you mean is, it can a, could a chimp be a thick human at an intelligence test? Yeah, that's what that's what I'm saying. But it depends yeah. on what the problem with the with the human is, doesn't it? Right. First of all, mental illness is nothing to do with intelligence. Let's get that straight. That's one thing. Mental people aren't necessarily less or uh, intelligent than people. Now, is that the clinical term? <laughs> well, exactly. <laughs> a mentalist. A mentalist. <laughs> Sometimes I don't know what to do. I don't know whether to start with wh where he's going wrong with the question <laughs> to answer it to find find out what he really means. Because it's just that if that did happen, right? What so did what could happen? You want the Planet of the Apes, don't you? Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> go on. Right. I go to school. I go to a new school. Yeah. I go in the class. There's three bonobos sat on the back <laughs> row. Yeah. Right? I think it would make They're everybody- kids, are they? Everybody would work harder because you go, well, I don't want a monkey beating me. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas when I was so you think school, they'd be an incentive? Yeah. Well, I- yeah, I, I think- Okay, they go in and go, oh, go on, what do you mean? No, I would- I, I would have loved it. Cause, I mean, one of the reasons I didn't like school is it's like, oh, I'm not bothered. You know, I'm not bothering going in today. I'd love it if- if I went in and someone said, right, you're gonna start coming again, why is that? Got three bonobos in your class. What if they didn't hang out together, like the two little um, kids with the webbed hands well, and the big heads? What, what if they started bullying you, <laughs> stealing your pocket money, well, maybe I go in, I'd stop maybe copying out. you, make, maybe making you do their homework? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they did find out. You to be honest, it'd <laughs> probably be the other way round. <laughs> and he'd score better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God, have you been copying? <laughs> have you been copying the bonobos have again? Have you been copying Boo Boo again? <laughs> oh, good though, wasn't it? it I, well, it'd be great. I love. I wish I could live in your mind for just a day. So it must be great when you walk around and see things. We were talking before, right, about, um, actually, right? Go on. We're struggling, go on. No, no. You can help me out here, Carl. You've got an idea. I can see it in your eyes. He's got a brilliant idea. Wait for it. Go on. No, no. It's something, when I was looking on the web, found yeah. something out. Go on. Um, it's a story about yeah. a woman who had a baby. <laughs> Who had a baby? <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> ah, what? A, a, a woman yeah. who had a baby who was having a baby. <laughs> <laughs> it was no, it was no clearer what? when you repeated it. No, go. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do for the common good. Right? Pursue this line of inquiry. Right? Because I don't know where it's going. Or play a record. I- I'm actually torn. I don't know what to do. No, I remember seeing it and thinking I've got to tell Ricky about that. It's brilliant. What- uh, should we, what should we do? Should we- should we go with it? Is it- I mean, it's like- it's entering into the abyss. It's opening Pandora's box. It's- <laughs> it's peeking- it's going down to the cellar. I've got a couple of questions, though. Go on, then. Well, come down there with me. Okay, <laughs> come down right, in the cellar with me. Okay, right. Carl. What, 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 first of all, it was on the way, what, what, what do you mean? The, the baby was what? Had another, but was it, she didn't give birth, they didn't, the doctor didn't find one of those set of Chinese dolls up here. It's Rus Russian dolls, whatever that's, they're that's, called. That's what I pictured it like, those, those dolls where you take the head off and there's another one in there that all look the same, but no, the story was, <laughs> there's a woman who's- No, don't just say it again, that's a headline. That's not a story. There was a woman who had a baby, who had a baby. <laughs> yeah. That's not a story. That, um, imagine handing that in as a, th as a thesis to loads of the BMA. You know that? There you go, and uh, yeah. read that. That's a, said, that's a children's rhyme. Yeah. There was a woman who had a baby who had a baby. What do you mean? So the ba- she had a baby, yeah. right? Yeah. And, uh, that bit's fine. We're yeah, okay with that. That's normal. That's normal. A totally woman had a child. Yeah, totally normal. She gave birth. Fine. Yeah. Next. Well, I, I, I don't know that much more, of apart you from the fact that huh? the baby's like roaming about, <laughs> and then uh, twelve, like twelve months later, she's like, oh. Interesting. So the gestation period of the that baby was actually three months more than an adult. Yeah. Excellent. It's weird though, isn't it? So was the headline "My baby's twelve months pregnant"? <laughs> what are you talking about? Twelve months later, it had a. What are you talking about? Forget it. it no, you haven't, you haven't even finished the story. That you said, and twelve months later, you didn't even finish the sentence. So what do you mean? No, I didn't. I didn't read any more into it because I just saw you that and I thought, read it. What? That's, "That's weird." And then I just was thinking, "Oh, like imagine the kid at school at parents' evening." <laughs>
go on. And it's like, well, your <laughs> kid's pretty good. Now, now let's have a look at your work, sort of thing. <laughs> Don't you think that'd be weird? <laughs> but what? Did the child have a baby? Yeah. Of course it didn't! Play record! We shouldn't have got down in the cellar. <laughs> we should have I just can't. left the cellar door closed. I, I never learned. That's the zombies and a song called Time of the Season. I've enjoyed that. What do you think of zombies, Carl? It's alright, yeah. No, not the, not the group, but the- oh, the, the living dead. Don't worry about them. No? Why? Not about, are they? It doesn't happen. <laughs> you don't right, believe listen, in that? Listen, right? You don't believe in zombies? So, I was looking But you do believe online. a baby had a baby? Yeah. On you go, on you go. Are you still saying that didn't happen? Yes. Right, well I'll find the thing again, I'll print it off and well, then you'll read it. Well, all I'm saying is there's more information that we need. Yeah. yeah. but- but it always annoys me that when I do get the information you'll go, yeah, but it's named Sally, you didn't say that, and make out- No. Uh, as if- No, 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 no don't, do, ma don't do. make it look like w we're over inquisitive or over cynical. You come out with the- the most abominable things man has ever uttered, <laughs> and you expect <laughs> us to accept them. Usually headlines, usually uh, illogical, not just probably wrong. So, fleas are born pregnant. <laughs> Are they? Interesting. Yeah. Right. Okay. See? On we go. So See, that's true, and you're not impressed. Because it doesn't involve a little werewolf child. Or half man, half shark. And you're just not- it's not good enough for you. No, but what I- I- if I read the first line of something, and it's not- not that interesting, I go, next, right, and I move <laughs> on. Now, when I saw a woman had a baby, and it had a baby, I But go, you still Ooh. didn't read on. No, but- I, all right, I didn't read on, but it got me thinking. Like I said, it's you, you wonder about the parents' evening. I was thinking about, <laughs> you know, didn't. is it a good thing? <laughs> because you're going to spend more time with the kid. Do you know what I mean? There's a lot of mums who have to go to work and that. She's going to be a great mum. Grew up with her, literally. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so She's going to be wonder, a great mum. I I just wonder if I know it sounds weird, but if was it's, it was it was it the 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 you know the baby that woman had was that a girl or a boy? Oh, it would have been a girl, wouldn't it? Of course it would. It'd be mental, wouldn't it, if it wasn't? Right. It would have been a weird story, wouldn't it? So anyway, that reminded me because we were talking about other amazing stuff. Right. So we'll move on to this next one, right, which is brilliant. Go Dead on, short yeah. story, so. Right, uh, <laughs> old woman, about 70 years old. Yeah. Uh, she's normally fit and healthy and stuff, nothing wrong with her, she's having a good life. And, uh, one day she goes for a check to the doctors. Yeah. Just to check herself out, she's yeah. getting on a bit. Yeah. Uh, it says take your clothes off and that. So she does, and uh, checks her out. Says, "Yeah, you're looking good. You're looking good." Uh, turn round. Uh, he said, "Oh God." He says, "You got a, a tumour on your buttock, right?" So she goes, "Oh, what c can you do anything to sort it out?" So they go, "Yeah, yeah, yeah. We could book you in for an operation. It's best if we remove this." Books are in for an operation. Operation day comes. Strip her down and that. They're all stood round the doctors start to operate, it only turns out it's a pork chop that she sat on five years earlier and it had stuck to her buttock. Right, Carl. <laughs> I right, can forward I'm, you- I'm, I'm, I'm not, honest, Right, I'm, no, I'm listen, not- No, listen, okay, no, serious. Me, right, okay, Carl, I'm telling you now, I'm leaving. I'm no. never- I'm never doing this show again. No, I'm serious. Honestly. You're talking- I, I, I've never had such what do you mean? You couldn't believe it? No, when I read it, I said, I've got to tell Ricky this that. This woman had a pork chop stuck to her ass for five years, you mental case. <laughs> of course she didn't. When, when we, you know, I was growing up on this estate. This is gonna be good. Go on. No, no it's not. It's just a, an example of how this doesn't work. Go on. So, so we don't need to worry sort of thing. Sure, right? okay. So, growing up on this estate, and there was a, there was this woman about four houses down, right, who's a bit rough. <laughs> All right. Didn't fancy her. Oh God, no. Right, but she had a <laughs> Why? baby. Why? Well, tell me about her first. I'm interested in this woman. Why was she? It was a very. So like a man in a dress. I mean, I didn't grow up in a posh house or anything. And I'm sure. Not, I'm not saying that if you live in a bit of a rough house, mm. you're a bad person. What does but, she look like? But anyone can tattoos cl clean up. Look like they, Tony Green with a fag on. They didn't clean up much, right? Oh. Which even if you've not got a lot of money, you can still try what, and make a place look nice. Yeah. Right. But she didn't, and a kid used to take a horse into the house. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> whoa, 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 Neddy, whoa, whoa, Neddy. What do you mean a kid used to take a horse into the house? Where did they get it, a right? horse? Must have nicked it from somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Must have. Have you seen a horse do it? <laughs> no. <laughs> what is that from outside the saloon round the corner? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, was it just tied up with a bit of leather? <laughs> right. 
I'm, uh, oh, that's great. I'd Did Big out. Jake come <laughs> looking <laughs> for it? I, I, I'd been out. So, <laughs> like, so let me get this. This was before the lynching stopped or after. <laughs> Where's he get a horse from? What do you mean he must have nicked it? He's going to say, where'd you get that from? I bought it. All right, then. But keep it out of the kitchen. I don't want you going Catelyn, rustling. Where's he get a horse from, Carl? And how long did he have it for? Was he leading it or riding it? Mum, open the door. I can't stop. I can't stop it. Open the patio door as well. Looks like we got us a runaway. What do you mean? I don't know, but the oh. thing is, they couldn't afford to buy one because they're not cheap. So I'm just guessing. Maybe that's wrong of me. But I, I think he had to... a horse. Yeah, right. So that's I... why the family didn't have any money. They'd spend it on the horse. No, exactly. I don't think, that's what I'm saying. I don't think they would have bought it. So anyway, yeah, it's always so... to whisper, Carl, in case they're listening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and they it's could not, be in the room it's next not door. Buying it, it's keeping it as well. Oh, but, so I, so I was like in the car with my dad coming yeah. into the avenue, and you used to have to drive down it to turn round. And, yeah. Uh, and you know, sort of go back to uh, to our house. You had the traditional method of transport, <laughs> yeah. And uh, the horse was in the lounge, <laughs> <laughs> reading a paper, just just like walking around. <laughs> oh God! This is what? And when I when I was doing, I, I tried to earn myself some money once by flogging little flowers in in plastic cups. What? This right. is genius! <laughs> it just keeps coming. What do you mean you tried to flog little flowers? What do you mean? <laughs> well, Wait, 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 wait. Let's play a record. Let's play a record and come back to this because it's always going to just unravel and unravel. It's going to go for hours. Let's play a track. Deeper and deeper. It's like an onion, isn't it? We've created a whole world here where there's a man living with a horse. Just walking around the land. I come from the West Country. I've never heard anything like that. I just think of a big sort of like orange carpet and it's got a rediffusion telly and this horse going, I'm fed up in here. Exactly. This is really. I am not taking the rubbish out again. Yeah. Right, play a record. Let's have uh, Velvet Underground. We've got that line. Oh, yeah, God. the classic from the first album. Uh, I'm waiting flowers. for the man. Let's come back to the horse in a Little second. Little flowers in pots. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh. From that classic first album, Velvet Underground and Nico, which apparently peaked at a disappointing 171 in the US charts. Think of that. And that's obviously Louis de Velvet Underground and uh, Waiting for the Man. Yeah, great track. So. We were talking, uh, we were doing White Van Man, and, uh, we got on to, uh, um, We got on to, to genetically, uh, genetically modified babies, but and somehow- And then Carl we... started telling a story about someone with a horse, and then he got on to, he was trying to make money selling flowers. Just do the flowers briefly. Well, hang on, I just want to recap slightly. So there was a family, and who had the horse in the family? It was- Cause you lived on a, an estate in Manchester. The, so the, the yeah. mother, the mother was a right- Pig, apparently. Well, I don't know if that's right. You relevant. don't need to go that far. But, but you. But well, what on. I'm trying to do is, like, make a picture for you so you understand what, what a picture like? it is. Who did she look like? Um, bit of a, and no disrespect to her, bit like Pauline Quirk. <laughs> Quirky, yeah. <laughs> right? Okay. I knew you were gonna say that. Yeah. I knew it was gonna be Pauline. Did she have any tats? Did she have any tats? I've never got that close to her. Okay, alright. So, and so who had the horse? Was this her son or her no, husband? No, her, her daughter. Her daughter had stolen a horse? Yeah, from, I don't know where, there was a, I think it was some stables down the road or something. And they they kept the horse in the house with. Them. They kept it in the house. Did but they, they didn't get have caught? it for long? No. So and you said you were in the house one day and you saw the no, horse. No, in what there. happened was I was. Um, they did this thing at school about raising money for charity, right? For some local charity, and they said you can do anything to to raise money, and they came out with all these ideas, and I thought that's good. What was the charity? But forget. Well, I don't know. I thought forget the charity. Yeah, that's I'm just a, a good money making either. idea. So <laughs> you're a charity. So um, <laughs> so I asked me mum for some because uh, she used to have a lot of flowers around the house. Sure. I said, can I just take some snippings off them? And, uh, I'll go and buy some plastic cups. And, uh, got some soil out of the garden, planted the, the, the bits of plants in them. Yeah. Got a tray. Yeah. Had about 25 plants on it, selling yeah. them for 25 pence each. Excellent. Did you sell any? Yeah, so loads. Did they, did you just cut, you didn't just cut them and stick them in yeah, the soil? Yeah, they want to survive. Oh. But I think people sort of thought, well, good on him for trying. But anyway, so I went round to theirs, because I thought their house could do with a bit of colour and stuff. Yeah. So it's a bit rough. So as I went- The horse went, thank God for that <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> so they've they, they, they been feeding me kitty cat. <laughs> yeah. So I got up to the door, and they opened the door, and it was one of them houses where no carpet. <laughs> yeah. A horse in the living room. <laughs> <laughs> you know. We've all been there. And, yeah. and the horse was walking around the living room. Oh. And it looked quite happy and everything, because I always say that about animals. Black Beauty right? was on. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> yeah. Well, think about it, right? If you were a horse, where would you rather be? In a little wooden hut with a load of hay, or in like a house with a central you know, heating, three-piece suite, and sure. a telly and that? <laughs> <laughs> telly and that? <laughs> no, but I was saying this the other day. <laughs> and an Atari, right? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I was walking through London. Commodore the other day. 64, yeah. rubbish. Exactly. W walking through London with Suzanne, right? Yeah. And do you know how like homeless people always have dogs? And yeah. she said, oh, I hope, I hope she looks after it. And I said, they've got- that dog is happier than most dogs. Right. Because people always walk past and give it a pat on the head. Yeah. It's with its owner all the time. Yeah. yeah. It's out in the open, it's not locked up in a house. Yeah. It doesn't you know eat, I mean? but other than that- <laughs> No, it does eat though, they're always alright. So that's what I was saying, I think this horse- was- was doing alright for yeah. itself. Do you know? It, well, not many horses have got their own house. Exactly. For a start, yeah. But anyway, that's- that's- what, That's what by the by. Yeah, yeah, so anyway, this family- who's a bit- w what were we talking about? It was about cloning- Genetically modified kids yeah. and all that yeah. stuff, yeah. Right, now what I'm saying is, you could say, you know, right Steve, you could have a baby, right? Mm -hmm. And Ricky could see it and say, God, I want one that looks like that. Yeah. <laughs> right? It so, could happen, Rick. <laughs> so- Come on, work with him. So you take it to the doctors, and I don't know what they do, they, they inject it with something or whatever. Yep, that's how yeah. it's done. Yeah. And, uh, get a little baby, and there it is, it looks the same. Now the thing is, you separate, you both go off and do your own things. Yep. Right? Yeah. Now, you look at Steve, Stephen, this is, you look after your baby. Yeah. You treat it well, you give it good food and I'm that. a good dad. All the vitamins and stuff. Yeah. Mm. Ricky just gives it cheese. <laughs> right? So, then it changes its looks, it goes a bit fat. You know, it gets tired easily, and that sort of thing. <laughs> now, when this family- Why am I just feeding a baby cheese? Right, this, this, um, this, this, this family who had a horse in the, in, you know, in their, in their house. Yeah. They had a, a little baby. And my man went round and said, you're not gonna believe this, but it's a beautiful looking baby. Right? Yeah. And I was like, well, you know. And, uh, the weird thing is, it was a good looking kid, but as time went on, they didn't really look after it. And I'm not saying, like, abusing it, but it used to run around, it used to play out till, like, ten at night. Yeah. Uh, it used to chase cars. <laughs> right. It was a bit- <laughs> Did it have hooves? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. No. <laughs> it used to chase cars! Right. What sort of kid chases cars? <laughs> oh, God! Now, was it called Rover? The weird Did it catch sticks? <laughs> it's Liam, it was called, right? Right. Now, the weird thing is, it was a good looking kid, but as time went on, and all that like, not eating properly and its hair was all patchy. It's not Liam Gallagher, is it? <laughs> <laughs> and chasing cars and that, and it became an ugly kid. It's definitely Liam Gallagher. <laughs> and that's, uh, that's what I'm saying, right? You can, uh, clo you can clone all you like, but at the end of the day, it's yeah. how you're brought up. Brilliant. Wow. Oh, life. Wow. That was a hell of a point. Oh, God. God. But am I right? Oh, you're always right, Carl. Wait, what were you thinking during the quiz then, when the questions were coming out? What were you thinking of? Well, what it was, right, just before the quiz started, I had to go to the toilet, right, because the rule is, right, people who don't go to it, once it starts, phones off, oh, yeah, no more toilet. The room, they yeah. take it dead serious, don't yeah, they, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I went to the toilet. Now, I'm not being out of order here, it just got me thinking, right? I went to the toilet, the gay fella in there, right? There was a gay fella in there? Gay fella in the toilet. Now, well, how, how could you, you tell? How did you know? Just typical, you know, everything about it, right? It! Everything about it, right, yeah. Oh. What, large like, handlebar moustache, what, what, leather what, what, cap. But, butt plugs, animal nitrate. <laughs> could I just say that these views do not reflect the views of the management of XFM or me and Steve. Go or on, most Carl. of the people in this country. Go you on, go. go on, Carl. What's your problem? Yeah, but this is what I'm worried about, really. But this is why I only got Danny Minogue right. <laughs> right? Because this was floating around my mind. Went She's to the toilet. Guy, like, now, she? going to the toilet, they have, they have, like, men's cubicle and they have women's cubicle. Yeah. Now, without sounding out of order, is it wrong for me to think gay men should have their own little cubicle. Go in! <laughs> they should have their own- well not cubicle, you mean an actual toilet, yeah. I suppose. When I was at the urinal, yeah. normally, you know, there's a fella there and then you go, alright. And there's no pressure. But I couldn't- I couldn't go. I was thinking, should I wait? If I go into the toilet, it'll look obvious. Yeah. I had loads of pressure and <laughs> this was going on. But what were you worried on. about? I'm so sorry. What I'm were you so concerned sorry, about? Viewers. I'm so well, sorry. Well, it's like, right, listen, when I was a kid, right, <laughs> And it's all right for you to go into women's toilets when you're a kid. It's like, oh, it's a bit cute, right? Yeah. As long as you're not like over fifteen or something, right? Right. But when I was a kid, I went into a toilet, and women, when they use their little cubicles, they don't shut the door. Some of them just sit down on the on the toilet, yeah. right? And you see everything. And, uh, <laughs> no, seriously, that's probably one of the first times I saw like a woman. Yeah. That, right? I mean, Auntie Nora when she was staying over. <laughs> what a 
happened with your Auntie Nora? She was, um, she's into wearing caftans. Into wearing what? You know, caftans. Oh, what, yeah. What caftans? Big, bellowy sort of dresses. Right, right. And, uh, yeah, I, I, I used to sit on the floor at home, in front of the telly. Sure. She was on the chair behind. Yeah. She did a bit of a, sort of a Sharon Stone scene. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Did you see it? There was no underwear? No. <laughs> what what was, age were you? What was it like? What age were you? It was like a ripped tennis ball or something. <laughs> <laughs> what?! <laughs> right, we're off air. We're off air. Either that'll put us in for the Sonics. <laughs> What an amazing track Beautiful that is. Yeah. Neil Young, Dynamite. after the gold rush. So go on, Carl. Sorry, go on, Carl. So just take us back a few steps, Carl. What, what's what's the story? Right. So I did some research. Right. <laughs> let, let's just recap again. The guy, there was a guy you read about who had his head chopped off. He was guillotined. Yeah. He had said to the people around him, Count "I am blinks. going to blink once I've had my head cut off to so show the brain that life can still or the brain yeah. can continue to work out after, yeah. after yeah. death." Okay, so yeah, we queried that. So you, you weren't having any of it? Well, no, possibly for a few seconds till the, the oxygen stops being fed to the cells because the blood has drained away. But, you know, no, nothing spectacular. So right, go on. Well, along the similar sort of lines, right? This is quite a few years ago. Um, this fella sort of upset the royal family doing something, right? Uh -huh. So they said that this isn't good. It wasn't Ben Outman at that Jubilee thing, was I it? Can't, I can't remember what it was. And they said, right, <laughs> that we're, was terrible. We're, yeah. gonna, uh, we're gonna cut your head off. Um, you know, oh. you gotta, you gotta show people that you can't be doing what you've been doing. What was this, the 1970s? <laughs> when you said a couple of years ago, you mean maybe sort of- Was it the olden days when ages. the phones weren't very good? Ages ago. Yeah. Ages ago, sure. So, um, so, so yeah, fair <laughs> enough. Yeah. So- <laughs> Very philosophical. <laughs> yeah, imagine that, yeah. when you were watching this going This yeah, was enough. literally ages ago. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, go Simon on. Sharma's History of Britain. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so, and even before that, which is young, <laughs> yeah. before, when it was all mental and different. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Carl, go on. So he's having his head cough and he's, but no, he's resigned to it's, it. It's a day before, he's kind of got it into his head now that I'm not gonna have my head, uh, much longer. Sure. So he said, let's, let's make use of this. Yeah. <laughs> He said, uh, <laughs> I wonder how long, like, the body can stay alive yeah. without me head on it, <laughs> right? So they were like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> so, uh. <laughs> Hoover. So. The jailers? Whoever he was. The asking. These jailers with one eye. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Get that, <laughs> So he said, no, like, wait a minute, I've got an interesting scientific experiment, jailer. Well, yeah. fair enough. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, he said, what I want to do, right? He said, um, you know, surely it's, it's my last right. You know, I'm gonna mm. be, I'm gonna be dead tomorrow. Sure. So, um, let's he do a test. He didn't draw it out this long, did he? Yeah, he said, let, let's, let's, let's test this out, you know, okay. he said, do us a favour. He said, you know, it's my last day, um, what I want you to do is, you're gonna cut me head off, let's put a white line on the floor. Right. And see if, you know, cos there's no point asking how far he can sort of walk without an head if there isn't a line because you, you don't know what to count, do you know what I mean? If it's just, if he loses his head and he's running around all over the place, you can't yeah, really count that's that. That's not impressive enough, yeah. So, so they said, let's make a white line. Sure, yeah. Who and said this? He did or they did? I think they started to join in with him and say, well, let's make yeah. this a, you Sure. Know. You're guessing, <laughs> go on. So, uh... <laughs> they got Norris McWhorter there. <laughs> <laughs> the Guinness people. Oh. Yeah. yeah. So they said, Let's get this white line. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, Dedication's all he needs. We'll, we'll do this, we'll do this tomorrow. He said, all right, then, yeah. I'll see you in the morning. Yeah. So see you in the morning! I'll see you in the morning! <laughs> night, night, sleep tight. <laughs> bye bye. Uh, I love the fact that Carl knows exactly what was said. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. He doesn't know the story yeah. or what order it is yeah. in or when but it he was. He knows exactly what was said. said what, but he knows <laughs> the interviews. <laughs> all right, then, see you in the morning. <laughs> mm, bye. Oh, kissy, kissy, kissy. <laughs> oh, I'm not, I'm not like that. Oh, you joker. Oh, don't let the bed bugs. What? Yeah! Anyway. So uh, he gets up. Do you want a paper yeah. tomorrow? No, I'm alright. Go on. He gets up mm. and they say, right, you know, today's the day and that. And he said, well, you know, I've got, <laughs> got used to the idea. So yeah. here's, here's a white line for you. Got <laughs> used to the idea. <laughs> go on. So, uh, so they go, right, you ready then? And he said, I right, go on. And they cut his head off. And the body walked 32 steps without <laughs> a head. Wow. 32 steps. Incredible. And that's, that's, that's the lesson, really. Did it get as far as the, it walked along the white line, did it? Yeah, it stayed along the white line, did 32 steps, and then started to stumble a bit and it just fell over. Yeah, yeah. But, it you know, it was it. a test that your body can still keep alive for a little bit. Yeah. When, when you've lost your head. Absolute twaddle. <laughs> Absolute twaddle. <laughs> what, what do you reckon you can do then without an head? How, how many steps? Nothing. There'd be muscular spasm, right? Yeah. 
It, it would twitch uh, a bit. It would, yeah. You could not distinctly take thirty-two steps. Mm -hmm. The body could- well, don't- Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Is yeah. the doctor still on the line? Yeah. The fellow that bought six parrots? Yeah. And, uh, you know, you could have got thirty-two steps. Right, so a you don't believe man that- doing a bit of line dancing. Right, you don't believe that, but something that you do believe that a cockroach can live a week without an head. It can. Hmm. Slightly different. Slightly different kettle of fish there. Why? Well, mm, insect to, uh, human <laughs> is- is the, is what I'm thinking. Yeah, that difference. There's not that much difference in well, some insects. Do you know that a snake has a heart and lungs and kidneys and stuff? Go on. No, well, I'm just saying. So? You're making out as if, like, they're a totally different, like, bean. Species. <laughs> I am. I am making that up. I mean, call Rick, me old fashioned. Do you know what you're talking about? Now? I don't want you embarrassing yourself, Rick. <laughs> yeah, I am suggesting they're totally different beings. Yeah, that is. Yeah. Um, now, Carl, uh, the, the the cockroach is is a very different thing. The interesting there is that it lives. It lives by its head because a lot of it's on. Uh, 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 that there's some of them are phototropic, chemotropic. Some of them just literally have uh, irritation and muscle memory. I mean, they do have a central nervous system, but it, it, it's it's very different. So if you lose the head, it bypasses a lot of that anyway. All this is run around. The reason it dies is because it can't take on water. But it's very different to a man, <laughs> right, having consciousness and then losing that. And the body's still going, no, I remember, I think I remember what I was gonna do here. Yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna carefully walk 32 line. steps along this white line. I'm basically just good looking out going, oh, missed a bit. Yeah. Um, maybe the head was in the corner going, left! <laughs> yeah. Left, you <laughs> left! Oh, he's now. Ooh. Well, let's just put it out. I mean, if, if, if anyone listening has, uh, has maybe had a relative <laughs> beheaded, maybe in a hor horrendous car accident, <laughs> but they got up, maybe they, they went for a walk, uh, they, you know, they, they, they had a little chat before oh, they passed dear, on. Carl. Get in touch. You know, oh, get, you Carl, know you, you, you are my favourite being. You are my favourite species. Now, you, Carl, may not be particularly different genetically <laughs> from a cockroach. <laughs> <laughs> you but are, why can cockroaches speaking. do that? Why are you ever made them get when? Let's play a record. Do, do you know, when I, when I told him this fact, I send him little facts on text messages just to inflame his, you know, interest. I just sent him a cockroach can live nine days without its head. Mm. He texted back, what's the point of that? Yeah. What's the point of They're that? They're not doing experiments, these cockroaches. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's, a, it's a boring last week to have. <laughs> <laughs> and he went, and on top of all that, you're thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. it's the worst week of your life, isn't it? That week without your head. Play a record. Play a record, Carl. Competition time next. Oh. oh. We need some corn. Look at his little face. Oh, Look at his face. You've not heard Carl's competition. <laughs> oh. oh. He could live without an head. Right, there was this, there was this, this is what it's like about getting presents and stuff, right? Oh. With me, with my mum and dad. Go on. My mate, Colin, right? He Colin Bacon? Uh, no, Colin Bailey. Oh, right? yeah. He had a, uh, little, uh, Sinclair Spectrum, right? Yeah. Computer. Yeah. Which was like the, the, the thing to oh, have at that yeah, time, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. You saw he's go round to his house. The it's deal was not the one you had to play through the window because you weren't allowed. No, to no, that's it. another lad. Oh right? yeah, this is this is a different lad, and the deal was, he came to our house and my mum gave him a pie, <laughs> and then I'd go round to his and I'd stay there for a few hours playing, you know, Hungry Oris and stuff like that on it. <laughs> yeah. right? Now, my mum and dad knew that I really wanted one of these computers, right? So I waited about a year. Came round to Christmas Day. I thought I reckon I uh, might have one. Turned out they bought me the wrong one. They bought me a ZX81 instead of a Spectrum, right? And Christmas Day, I'm there trying to load the games up. It's not working. I'm thinking, what's wrong, right? And the thing with me when I was a kid, I used to get quite sort of agitated. This quite is the easy, this is the moment, right? I found out that it needed a RAM pack to make it work, right? Looking in the thing and it's saying, and, and make sure you put your RAM pack in the back. And I was like, oh, where's the RAM pack? And my dad's going, I don't know, I've got you the main bit. That's, that's it. So, I was that wound up, I just was sick, <laughs> right? <laughs> just sick. I, I didn't feel sick or anything, I just was like, oh god. Went to the sink, just, just sick. Cause I was that on edge about it. I said, come on, we've gotta get one. And my dad's like, Tandy's shut, we're not gonna, we're not gonna get anything today. Ruined again, Christmas day. That was after the year when my train set got blown up by our kid. The following year, no ramp pack. And now you ask me why don't I get good presents? He's scarred. He just, just I'm gonna die. Up. Honestly, I'm gonna die. He's <laughs> just been sick. Yeah. <laughs> There's no ramp pack. <laughs> why was, did you get to the bottom of it? Why wasn't there a ramp pack? You have to buy them separate. Oh, okay. What do you mean I can't play Frogger? <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> oh no. So, um, there, wasn't there another incident when you threw up? Spontaneously threw up? Well, listen, still to come, right? We've got, um, the, the monkey's thing. Oh, chimpanzee that! And when I was out last Sunday, right, at Johnny's birthday party. Yeah. Steve was there. Yeah. Got talking about stuff. Um, and a debate that we didn't really finish cropped up. It blew your mind, didn't it? Amazing. Oh, no. I know about this. Steve told me. This is the, uh, infinite amount of monkeys. Um, or a monkey with a typewriter and an infinite amount of time would eventually come up with the works of Shakespeare. Yeah. There was no debate. It's a philosophical, mathematical problem. There's no debate. It's true. It wouldn't happen. No, listen, Carl, listen. Infinity sorts it all out for you, right? An infinite amount of monkeys at a typewriter, right? They would do- they do everything. They type everything. Infinity just sorts it all out for you. There's no getting to it and they're going, oh well, uh, let's have a look what they've done. <gasps> this one's come close. Did Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> it would do it all. It would type everything ever possible, conceivable. Yeah, but-, but it's, a, it's, a, it's a mathematical thing. Well, Infinity we've heard your side of the argument, <laughs> really. <laughs> And I'll be honest with you, it's a persuasive one, <laughs> but let's hear Carl, because he yeah. heard about this in a pub last week, yeah, so what's he's your got problem? some strong What's your problem with himself? it? What's your problem with it? Well, f first of all, right, you're saying it's a load of monkeys. It's not just one monkey, that's- It depends. That can live forever. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. It's either a, a chimpanzee with a typewriter, with an infinite amount of time, he would eventually, by definition, mathematically, type everything ever possible, okay? Or, it's an infinite amount of, um, uh, chimps with typewriters, and one of them will type it first time. But already that's, that's sort of, that's not right. You either need to have what one What do you mean, monkey. what, what, you mean, employment laws, what do you mean it's not right? Let's hear him out, please. Okay. If it's one monkey, yeah, with a typewriter that's got loads of ink in it and that, right, at least it knows what it's done in the past. Don't, it's not- Keep going! Cry. If you've got a load of monkeys, it's like, it's like if you have too many, what's that saying about too many chefs Too many spoil chimps spoil the soup. Right. Well, it's the same thing. It's like, well, I, I didn't tell you to put salt in it. I was gonna put salt in it, and it messes it up. Whereas if it's just one, they know what's gone on. So what I'm saying uh, is- I, I, just honestly, leave him going. I can't be bothered, I Steve. I want to hear, I want uh, to hear it, the th rest. This blows my mind. He doesn't know what this does to me. It's a mathematical problem. I want to hear the rest. Well, it's just, I just don't think it will happen. What I do mean, you mean you don't think it'll happen? Infinity works it out for you, by definition. Well, what's stopping them typing the same thing again? They would. They, in fact, the problem should be if you had an infinite amount uh, uh, of time that um, it would type that works with Shakespeare an infinite amount of times and everything else an infinite amount of times. But you know, that's not. That's just. That's that's not as. But not. Not Shakespeare. Oh, shut up, you, you know idiot! Rick, do you know what he said to me? I said to him, uh, I just explained it to him, I said, God. you've got an infinite number of monkeys, infinite number of typewriters, they will e type the complete works of Shakespeare. He yeah. said, have they read Shakespeare? <laughs> <laughs> You're an idiot! Play a record, said, no, I'm, I'm not having this conversation. Not doing it from I'm not having it, I'm not having it, because it really, really winds me up. But you're saying they'll do it with no spelling errors. Well, they do it, uh, uh, they do it an infinite amount of times. And they do it, they do it wrong an infinite amount of times. And they do it, and they spell, uh, the last full stop, uh, wrong an infinite amount of times. And they do it, and they get one thing wrong in Hamlet wrong an infinite amount of times. They do everything an infinite amount of times. But are they going off a story that they've- Play a record, Carl, cause I'm gonna knock you out! I'm just saying- Shut up! Do they know the story? Oh, I'm They're the... monkeys! Oh, Christ. No, right, what? okay. What? Lloyd Cole, she's a girl and I'm a man. Good that, innit? It's on XFM, 104.9, Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, Carl Pilkington. As yeah. ever, Rick, there's always someone who steps in to defend Carl. Uh, uh, well, okay, uh, what is the defence? What is the defence? Here's a, an email from Scott Coomer. He says, Carl is actually right. I've got an A-level in statistics and probability. It doesn't matter how long they have and how many monkeys you have, you cannot guarantee they would type the complete works of Shakespeare. Infinity makes it probable they, they would get it right, but not definite. Yeah. Well, y yeah. Yeah. That's what I was saying. No. No, you weren't saying, Carl. You don't understand it. Infinity sort of sorts it out. That if they do- if they do- if they do anything, they're- they nearly do everything, won't they? No, I mean, they'll give it a good shot. 
<laughs> no, that's not the point. But the, the I'd point be is surprised this... if they did one page right. Right, now. listen, <laughs> it's not to do with consciousness. It's not to do with them aiming. They are it's, just bashing away it's at like, the it's, it's like they're, they're, they're used to show that there isn't consciousness. They, they, they chose the chimpanzee because it can type, presumably, it's hit because, the keyboard. It's because they hadn't come across you at the time. <laughs> yeah! Yeah. It's to take out thought out of it. It's to take out reason and trying, right? Mm. It's just random. They're saying that if you typed enough things, if a computer was left out, typing everything, if you left it for an infinite amount of time, and they chose Shakespeare because there is meaning behind it, and it's difficult to get it exactly right to show you that infinity would come up with a sh it's not just Shakespeare, it's every novel. It's everything. Fairly eloquent there from Gervais. A quick riposte, please, from Carl Pilkington. No, I'm just saying what I don't understand. If it hasn't read it, then how does <gasps> it know where it's going? Oh! I- listen, right, I, okay, listen, right, I- I, I can can't- I, can I just- Look, can I just explain to people, right? Some people have said, oh, why are you cruel to Carl? He drives me mental with things well. like that. What do you mean, well? Well, can I just- well, let me just- You just, deny you just take a breather <laughs> How do I do your ending? He keeps coming in the week. You know that I work here properly, <laughs> yeah, in the week. <laughs> Don't sir. Yeah, I've got a proper job, yeah? Yeah. Uh, should be nine to five, but I normally get in at about eight o'clock and work A lot of people get in at eight o'clock. Working hard, trying to do my job. Three times this week, I've been rushing around, I walk past my little studio, he's sat in there, alright? <laughs> now, because I've got this sort of job, I can get away with it. I said to him, if I was a doctor, <laughs> would he keep coming to me practice? If you were a doctor, there'd be <laughs> severe problems with the NHS. Well, oh, imagine so, that. Uh, I the standards I, would have lowered so much we to, go to if lunch. you can arrive at the hospital you're well, a doctor. Well, pop in, I go to lunch, don't we? We have a little lunch break, don't we? Yeah. I go, come on, let's go now. He goes, I'm busy. I go, come on, let's go now. He's going, oh, you're doing me, Eddie. Well, when I was talking about the monkey conundrum with Carl, he said to me, right, if I had a day off work, and I was, say, watching the TV, and with one hand I was typing a uh, typewriter, would I type Shakespeare? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> yeah, but you see, there's certain things. We were talking a little bit about this stuff the other week, weren't we? When we said uh, <laughs> you were going on about Einstein, and I said he's not that good. Um, you know, E equals MC squared. You know, it sounds good, but I've never used it. And that right? <laughs> I've never yeah. used it. Uh, you haven't used two and two equals four, Carl. The fella with an apple fell on his head. You know. It could have been anyone sat under that tree. Do you know what I mean? It's yeah. just annoying. <laughs> lucky, lucky. Yeah. And, and it just Newton, gets to be a all, Newton gets all the credit <laughs> no, yeah. you know for his mean? laws of the universe. <laughs> well, a lot of people were working whilst he was having a lunch break under the okay. tree. So, in a way, it's like he didn't deserve to have that again, success story. Again, forget the apple and the tree and whether he was sitting down and having a lunch break. It's, it's totally irrelevant. Yeah, but what I'm saying is there's certain things that will just happen. You know, it's like I think we were talking when we were out eating the other week. We were talking about Noel Gallagher. Well, this is reason the, the monkey right. discussion came up, right? We God. would- Noel Gallagher- I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Rick, I don't want to misquote Noel. I'd be like Herbert Lom in Clue Song and I'd get a twitch whenever he opens his mouth. I don't know what- I don't know- I don't know where to start with some of his statements. Well, as I say, this all- this discussion began because we were talking about a quote that Noel Gallagher supposedly gave. Now, I don't want to misquote Gallagher, but the gist of it was that he said, um, uh, had I- uh, written Wonderwall or whatever, instead of the Beatles writing Strawberry Fields or whatever, I'd be the one that was considered the great songwriter and it wouldn't be the Beatles, you know, it's just the fact that they came first that meant that they get all the credit as being the greatest band I in the world. I don't know where to start with that statement and, either. I mean, that's Gallagher's thing and, uh, and he's, you know, well, whatever, we know what you think, we think of that. What was your point, Carl? I, you agreed with him, didn't you? Yeah, I reckon, right, do you know how we've talked about putting a baby in a room before and it, and it'll know what colour it is and stuff? If, if you've got a room that's painted red, Right, but uh, forget that because that's going to confuse. Hear him out. Hear him out. Can I? Can I uh, Rick, hear listen him to out. me. Say if they did some new TV show, right? Like, um, what's that film with Jim Carrey in where the uh, the Truman Show? The Truman Show, right? So they make up a little room, and uh, some woman has some kids, and you say, right, let's put the kids in this room, and they don't know what's going on outside. They they, they don't know anything about like East Enders and that. It's like their little world, right? They don't know anything that's gone on. How could a child survive without EastEnders? <laughs> right, listen, so, you sat in the room, right, and then when they're all asleep... Right, this, wait for this bit. Someone pops. Have, have you heard this Yeah, bit? wait for this bit. They're all in a room. Yeah. They're asleep. Yeah. Someone pops in, puts a guitar next to the bed, <laughs> right, nips off out again. They wake up in the morning, and uh, one of them goes, what's this? They don't even know it's a guitar because they've never seen one, right? They're talking English, though. Yeah. We just left a guitar out of the recovery. Right, so... There's plenty more to come. So, one of them will pick it up, and they'll go, I don't know what it is, and they'll start strumming, and they'll go, that sounds good, doesn't it? G 
give them a few weeks, they could come up with Hey Jude. Whereas, say in typing Shakespeare, a monkey that can't even spell. I see that. <laughs> you can't answer it. I might come with you, Rick, if that's okay, all right. Okay, we've got to sort out that Christmas special as well. Yeah, no, sure. sure. Alright, I'll see okay. you later. I'm shooting off in as well. Cheers, pal. Cheers. Gin and tonic. <laughs> yeah. I had uh, scotch pancakes for breakfast, that is all I've had. So I'm starving, I'm shaky, plus I've got that restless leg syndrome still going on. <laughs> which I can't get rid of. What's restless leg syndrome? I find, uh, if I go to bed, right, my body's tired but my legs aren't. <laughs> <laughs> Are you like Michael Flatley? <laughs> you have to get up and do a bit of tap dancing. Do they, do they just keep going even just when you're asleep? Keep moving about, so I have to get up and stretch them or something. Or I've worked out that if if I put a pillar on like the bedpost down at the other end, yeah. if I have my legs higher than my heart, it calms it down a bit. Is this why Suzanne works away so often? <laughs> I don't. I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> to get a decent night's sleep. I put it down to smarties and that. It's like a sugar thing, but yeah. um, stop eating them. Apparently, Bob Mortimer's got it as well. No, he's got arthritis. Oh, has he? You told yeah. me the week that you've mastered, uh, moonwalking. Yeah. Yeah, I can do that. Is that I'll one of the things you did, yeah. like, in the middle it, of the it night? Can, it's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, uh, moon sleepwalking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he just did get out, he finds himself walking backwards and yeah. wakes up and goes, oh god, I'm brilliant. <laughs> I'm brilliant at this. Right, so, so, listen, what we're doing now, are we doing, uh, are we getting a debate going about? Right. Now, yeah. we got people to send in, uh, a little thing for you last week, didn't he? The film Freaks. A you got a freak. few. You got a few sent in. You watched it, did you? Yeah. Now I should just point out that the film Freaks, uh, for those that don't know, was a movie that was released, I think, in the. Well, actually, it was delayed. It was originally made in about 1932, something like that, and then it was banned delayed. It was banned years. for many, for many, many years because it did, in actual fact, uh, feature for want of a better phrase, real life freaks. Yeah. Um, bearded ladies being one of the more kind of. Familiar Man, there's ones. There's a guy without arms and legs. Without arms, there's all sorts. And, uh, it was actually quite a, it's quite a tender film, isn't it? And actually portrays them as a kind of dysfunctional family. It's not, it's not exploitative in that sense. But, uh, what do you make of it, Carl? Well, you're watching it for the freaks, weren't you? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, I wish, it does take a while to get onto it. What uh, do you mean? Well, straight away I was disappointed, right? Because at the start, like, you put it in, it's like, oh, brilliant. Here we go, you know, I said to Suzanne, we'll watch this, we'll have a good night. Yeah. Have a and romantic uh, night. Yeah, that's it, have a birthday. Yeah. You've got your gloves, now we're gonna watch some freaks. <laughs> so, uh, put it on and it starts off and it's like, you know, the following film, you think, ooh, it's like following films, rated 15, which means, you know, might contain scenes of violence, bad language and sex. Yeah. Mention nothing about pinheads. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I thought they missed a trick there. Yeah. <laughs> Right. So I thought, well, let's, oh, let's, let's go and watch it. Oh, and what that's... exactly is a pinhead? Oh, if you've seen it, you'd know. Okay. Right, so, uh, not the best thing in it either. So oh. imagine that. <laughs> okay, so you're watching it. So, sat there, I think, right, something comes on, and, and the little fella's on there, the little fella we were talking about, the pillow man. Right. Is it, is it the best says. thing in it? Now, what's the pillow man again? He's a fella who, years ago, uh, he, he's got no arms and legs. Right. He's just a torso. Just and rolls, yeah. And, uh, there's a scene where you see him sort of rolling <laughs> a cigarette up, just using his mouth, and yeah. it's like, he lights it and stuff. And that's, yeah. that's weird. And then, uh, what else is on it? It's like it's a growth. And then there's a, there's a little, little fella on it, who is fed up because he looks five, but he's actually thirty-four. <laughs> right. Right? But there's a woman <laughs> who is forty-two and looked eight. So, they both had the opposite thing. They were both really fed up, and I kind of thought that shows that, you know, you always want what someone else has got. Sure. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. in a way there's a story there yeah. in that. No, you, they, you described the same there. No, no, no. No, it was like... No, they both, you, you just said, they, they both looked young but they are actually both older. No, no, no. This was like a little man. Yeah. Who, who was looked, 35. Who was thir 35. And looked eight. Yeah. And so did she. No, well, the other way around then. What? So she was an eight-year-old that looked thirty-five. Yeah. So, oh, maybe not then. Anyway, no. But that that wasn't that weird. I kind of thought it's a slow start and that. Yeah. And then uh, it's not a, it's not a difficult film to follow. No. <laughs> yeah, but I wasn't really listening to what it's all about. I was just looking at what they had. And they had like a fella who's running about <laughs> what on just. Head, like he was shopping. <laughs> you know, uh, they had a fella with no legs and he's running about on his hands and right. sort of got about on a skateboard talking to someone about it. They said that's how E.T. was done. There's actually 
a, a little fella in E.T. Right. Who's just half of, um, sort of half a body. Is that true? I've no idea. I've never heard that Why before. Why haven't we heard that before? I've never heard that before. I don't think he would fit in E.T. Cause he's I got no- cause like, where's the head? He's got no neck, E.T. It's a skinny little thing. There's- a human neck couldn't fit in that skinny little neck. Wow. Well, you sure, you sure it wasn't Kenny Baker up to his old tricks? What no. are you talking about, Carl? There's a fella with no legs in E.T. In E.T. they had two- two fellas, right? I think they had a little, um, a midget fella. Right. Who <laughs> did it. And then I think he was off sick and they were like, oh, you know, what else are we gonna do? <laughs> might, they, they, so, so they <laughs> saw a guy on a skateboard going by. And said, do you fancy some work? <laughs> right. And uh, he's done it. I think someone told me, I mean, it might be wrong. Exactly. Yeah, might be wrong. It but. might be, might not it? <laughs> I mean, you've never been wrong before, so I don't know why you'd be wrong there. <laughs> what so what's the worst been? thing in it? Now, it's intriguing to me because here's a film called Freaks, featuring real life freaks, and you're sort of a bit nonplussed by it. Just because it wasn't, because it's built up. If you call a video freaks, you've got to make sure that there's some good stuff on there. Yeah. What were you disappointed about? Was it that? Because there was a few things on it, right? There was a woman who said she was half man, half woman, and it's like, well, you're not, are you? It was just like she had some makeup on. I thought, well, that's rubbish. And then there was a woman who could eat using her feet. That isn't that freaky. Do you know what I mean? If she's not hungry, she looks normal. <laughs> yeah. And that's when I was thinking. <laughs> I mean, I'm not being, not being, right, Steve, you know I'm not being funny. Oh, here we go. No, 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 but I'm, I'm just saying, if that woman wasn't eating and you were sat next to her in that film, yeah. I'd probably be sort of drawn to you more than her. I'm not, I, I know you hate me saying it, but there's no point sort of pretending. Do you know what I mean? Oi, Muttley, what you get, what are you sniggering about? <laughs> that, that, that face. <laughs> what you you mean there were there were things in it that were less? What are you saying? I'm just saying. Play a record. No, Seriously, I'll slap you. I'm going to slap you live on air. Yeah, but you always go. I'm going to right. I'm slapping you live on air. I swear to God. Right, play a song then. He's playing a song. I'll play the song. Hang on, you better do the jingle, ain't you? Oh. Oh, chimpanzee that! Oh, right, you'll like this one. Um, what I've found is, uh, found out like a lot of monkeys' names, like that's how I found out about Oliver. Yeah. What do you mean like, you found out a lot of monkeys' names? Well, there's uh, a lot of monkeys out there, and you think they're just called monkey and what have you, but they're all given names, right? So this, this one that I've found about, bit of a weird name anyway, it's actually called Crap, its name, right? And- So it- they're, they're, they're not born with those names. It's not like their parents give them those names. You know, they're just yeah, chimps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, this one, right? And um, it's called crap. Yeah, I know. Right, but do you know what it's famous for? What crap? Yeah. No Go one. On. Is it involved with this show? It um, the first monkey to have its name tattooed on its head. <laughs> Yeah, again, I will say not by choice. There is no way that a chimp would go down to Camden Lock and go, uh, are you a registered tattooist? I am, yes. Yeah, yeah, it's the cleanest, yeah. Go, okay, um... Can I have a look through your book? Can I have a look through your book? Um, I'm looking for something quite gothic, but, um, uh, I'd, I'd like, you know... What's your name? Crap. Oh, I'm not sure I can do that because you're not drunk, are you? I have another drink. I have another drink. I've had some, I've had some, uh, umbongo and that's all. Uh... <laughs> But no. What are you talking about? The first monkey to have its name tattooed on its head. <laughs> what are you talking about, There's Carl? gotta be more information. Don't tell me you're leaving it there. There's gotta be more information. That was it, and then I read it thinking, well that's weird because that means there's loads of monkeys with tattoos on their head. If that's the first one. No, it could be still the only one. The first and only. Yeah, but would they report that? Well, I don't, you don't what do you mean would they report it? This isn't the Washington Post you're reading. <laughs> This is mentalists who do websites about themselves every day. Oh, I, 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 what? There's got to be a third Why act is that to news? That story. Why is that news? What, how did you come across that? Well, do you, you first nut monkey with tattoo head. W. I mean, what are you talking about? But why did it have its name tattooed on its head? T I know. Didn't, it didn't say. It didn't say that. I, I mean, I, yeah, I know. It's mad, but. <laughs> 
but he didn't say why. Was that enough for you, though? Did you feel satisfied out having read that? Did you not have other I questions? mean, that is no way that that is in the Guinness Book of Records. There's no way uh, that that is uh, excited in the Guinness Book of Records. I just read it as like, what a weird name for a monkey. And then, <laughs> ooh, you won't have that on your head. What and would be a good name for a monkey? I don't know, uh, anything but that, really. Yeah. Uh, Dave. Ted. <laughs> but, what do you think of that, then? Well, I don't know what to think about it, because I don't know what- I don't know what you're telling me. I don't know- I don't know that that's news, I don't know that it's true. Mm -hmm. I, I- I mean, I don't know where to start with that. Is that all you found? You found a, something about a, no, a monkey? I'll tell you right, when I was searching for stuff on monkeys, right? Yeah. I was searching around, like I always do, looking, finding information, right? Yeah. And, um, found out- uh, are you aware of the Iceman? The Iceman? Yeah. Go on. Right, and to me the monkey thing was more- What's the Iceman? Oh, the man that was found in the ice. So you're aware of A Neanderthal man. man. Right, yes. Yeah. So, Ricky, do you know Not a monkey, the then? No, no, I know, but I just was looking at, like, info. Right. The five thousand year old fella who was preserved in a- in a glacier. That one. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Do you find that more fascinating than the monkey? Well, I- I know that it's true. Yeah, it's true, but do you find it more fascinating? Well, simply <laughs> because it's true I find it more fascinating. I can't act. On summer, if someone uh, anything's that's true is more fascinating. But you see, what I get from the monkey thing, yeah. you go, oh, I wonder, wonder if it was happy about that. And <laughs> but you accept it straight away. You accept that that is true and interesting. And I don't know what that is. I mean, to me, it sounds like a bit of cruelty towards animals. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because you know, uh, uh, I mean, if that's true, it's disgusting to tattoo uh, a monkey's head. It's disgusting. Yeah. Um, do you know what I mean? Yeah. There's no way. That's what I'm saying. It doesn't do. A, if a monkey, if they, if they reported that a monkey um, went in and got a tattoo <laughs> and chose it itself, and then was riding a Harley Davidson down <laughs> Camden, I go, that is incredible. But I'd really want to see it on the news, and it mustn't be anywhere near the first of April. You know what I mean? I think you've just blown next week's. <laughs> <laughs> Just sometimes people have to die, don't they? There was a fellow outside our house who had a lamppost. He had a helmet on, but his head come off. <laughs> <laughs> you made me laugh at a man's head coming off because of the way you said it. <laughs> but, but that's the thing. <laughs> he had a... He, he had a... Oh, God! There's a man outside in the house. He had a lamppost, <laughs> he had a helmet on, but his head come off. So you're saying that because in that one instance the helmet did not save his life? His head was in great condition. It's just not attached to his body. <laughs> and that's what I'm saying to you. Sometimes people have to die. How far, how far do you take all this stuff of, of, you know, safety gear and slowing down and wear bright clothes at night and it's just too much. Very important point, you see. We give people crash helmets. We give them should be better, maybe. Hey, Chinese kid. Right, well, yeah. we've talked about airy people in the past. <laughs> 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 True enough. Haven't we? Yeah. Um, you know, the, the, the little kids who grew up in woods and hung around with wolves and that. Yeah, again, you're confusing it. To, to, yeah, they're not, they're, they're not... There were some people that were born a very hirsute. They were not the yeah. people who were brought up with wolves. Yeah. You just put that together in your <laughs> Homer Simpson-type mind. Right, well, this is like a sort of... Sort of close to that sort of story. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but the weird thing is, right, Chinese people aren't that hairy. As a- as a nation. <laughs> no, seriously. That's- that's a well-known fact. Oh you, they don't- they don't have that much body hair and right. stuff. Okay. So, this little kid who was born over there, um, he was like covered in stuff. Was he? And it was only his nose that wasn't hairy. The rest of his body was caked in hair, right? Mm. Um, and his hair sort of What grew. sort of hair was it? Was thick, it- Thick, thick hair. <laughs> <laughs> no, what I mean is, was it sort of, uh, uh, like a pony's mane, so he just looked like an Ewok? You know what I mean? Just like hanging down sort of straight, dark well, hair. Looked, in the picture it looked like, uh, it grows from it his eyebrow- it grows from his eyebrows quite thick. And then it just goes all the way over you his You don't hair. think it was just really long eyebrows that he'd done a comb over? <laughs> No, th it was all over his body. It had a picture of like his back and that. Yeah. And um, had he styled it? Had he styled it at all? Did he, he have it a quiff or? No, it was just it was just, just all around. over him. Yeah. And um, and they were like, you know, this is a bit weird happening uh, happening in China, mm. where, where we're not normally that airy. <laughs> 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 that 
that was the scientist speaking <laughs> yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, the press, the local press and that were getting him down calling him monkey boy and all this. Oh. And, uh. Um, Thinking Chinese press. But the doctor. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they're <laughs> cruel, aren't they? The it's doctor. like those game shows. <laughs> well, That's Japanese, isn't it? Yeah. That's all that. Yeah. And the doctor said, um. I was Carl talking through all that time where we were just like talking <laughs> to each other then? Because I, I turned around and I still saw he was talking. <laughs> Go so on. anyway, the local press came out to see the hairy boy, the monkey yeah, boy. Yeah, they were like being tight, taking the mickey out of him, and the doctor said, uh. Showing him nuts. Said he's only, he's only hairy. Said, um, he's a healthy young kid. The only faults he's got is he's got a little bit of eczema and a boil. <laughs> so, <laughs> he said everybody should just treat him the same, and <laughs> I think he grew up a healthy, healthy kid. Um. Yeah, so that's, that's the, uh... That's, that's the end of the story. That's not it? a story. Why? Well, I, but I've got nothing, I don't know what to say to that. So someone was, someone in China was born slightly hairier than the rest, and he was normal apart from eczema and a boil. That to me isn't a story. <laughs> but that, I, that I, if it is, I've got a million. I mean, it, it's sort of like, bloke from Manchester, went a bit bolder than the rest, got a job on radio. He was normal. I mean, that's not a story, is it? Do you know what I mean? All right, then. Um, the cement mixers, that's what <laughs> they did. That was how they it, did it. Definitely, right? yeah. Just, just, uh, animal facts. I remembered one in the week. Um, Go on. There <laughs> was, do you know them two gay American men who have, have tigers? Okay, the two gay ones, yeah, two possibly gay ones. Yeah, let's not worry about libel law anymore, then, or, yeah, If you shave a tiger's head... Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Right, okay. You gotta treat that sentence with a lot more reverence than you did. Think what you're saying. If you shave a tiger's head, not just its head, its whole body. If oh, sorry, sorry, <laughs> sorry. Yeah. So I thought you, I thought you were getting weird. Go on. Then, go yeah, on. If you shave a tiger, yeah, go on. It's still stripy underneath. The yeah. Skin, the skin. Is stripy. it like rock? <laughs> it goes all, it the, like way all the way through. Yeah. yeah that's amazing. Where did you hear that one? That's. I remembered that. Like, I was. Was that a drunk just shouting it in the street? <laughs> 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 I shaved a tiger and it's still stripy. <laughs> Get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What other complaints? What you know the was? most, oh, you know the biggest complaint ever on TV, the most complaints ever for ending on TV, was the showing of The Last Temptation of Christ. Yeah. Do you know the second, yeah, the se second was, was, I think, Anne Robinson, um, put in the Welsh into Room 101. What, cos she didn't like him or that? Yeah, she just said, well, they're, you know, they're going in the, you know. Can I, can she said I, it slightly I, more eloquently than that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I can under, the people or the place? I don't know. I think, I think it was the place and therefore the people. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean, yeah? No, well, you know me mum and dad have sort of, uh, moved from Manchester, they've retired now in Wales. Oh, right? yeah. And it is, uh... <coughs> Look at his face! Turning his nose up! No, but it, it is pretty depressing. Do you know what I mean? It's just one of them places that... Uh, it's like you go back in time and that when you go there. I mean, maybe the major cities there, maybe Cardiff is alright. What, even coming from Manchester it's like going back in time? It's just, uh, it's like one of them places that w it feels like every day is Sunday. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's just depressing and grey and slate Lots everywhere. Lots of vicars walking around going on late. <laughs> well, yeah, it is, it is the sort of attitude they have, right? This, and this is true because my mum and dad live there and that, right? And they love it, it's alright, it's an healthy place to go when you get older and that. But this, this is why they don't move on in Wales. Well, because it's like to make another. No, no, sorry no. to any Welsh people listening. We're not saying you don't move on. Carl is. No, but sorry about the little Chinese shoes. Again the thing as well. is, it's good that in a way that they do do that, and they don't want to be like you know rushing about everywhere. Because the way London is isn't that great either, is it? Because sure. it's totally opposite mm. here, right? Yeah. So I'm not I'm not having a go. It is a bit dull. I think even people who live there will agree with me. Okay. Right. But like one of the shops that my mum and dad use, right? It's only a little sort of villagey type shop. Uh. They can't be bothered staying open for hours and hours, right? Because there's not enough people use the shop. Yeah. So what you do is, uh, they get used to what you buy. And they leave they, it out. They put it in a phone box outside. They put it in a phone box? Yeah. So it doesn't get wet. So my dad's loving that. Well, Once yeah. he found that out, it was like, brilliant. But that, how is that a bad thing? That's brilliant. Well it's not, for other people, it is for my dad. Cos he's picking up all sorts of stuff. Oh Pickens. no, he's not! Oh, yeah. He's not nicking other people's shopping. Well, it's not like nicking, is it? Because it's not theirs yet. <laughs> oh! And you've stitched him up on radio. Well, of course, because yeah. they're going to think, who's that? G wh who is there in town with a mank accent? Who, who, keeps, ma who yeah. keeps making phone calls <laughs> and is getting fatter? Yeah. 
That's the- You stitched it I right love up, that. Right, I Carl. love that, that your dad was excited when he found out- oh. I can't believe- I can't believe that he's moved there. He's retired to this little village <laughs> where it's based on trust and community and he is abusing it. He's using his scally mank ways. Bloody hell, Lakers. There's no bread again. <laughs> There's old women was going empty? hungry. Yeah. The cats aren't getting fed. And your father is just- I can't- oh, that's obscene. That's obscene. Oh, I think it's a die thief. That oh. fella from <laughs> Manchester. <laughs> I don't even think they've got Sky there yet, have they? They can't listen, they won't- they won't know what's- I think you've stitched him right up. I hope you have, actually. I hope he goes down for it. I hope he's hounded out of the community like Frankenstein's monster. Yeah. They should get burning torches, go up to the set mansion- fire to his, Set fire to his cottage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Right, well, He's uh, out of the choir. <laughs> yeah. Just tally him yeah, up for a bit and wait back out. You thought, did, I tell, did I tell you about my go-kart? Yeah, that you- Yeah. About your dad giving it away. Yeah. What's the story? I- I- I've, 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 I've told you something, I? Have you gone? What? Tell it again. Well, I- uh, uh, have I told it on air? I can't remember. Maybe I just told you it. Um, when I was about eight or nine, I had a go-kart and I loved it. It was one of those things you pressed back and forth. Yes. And I used to come in every day, used to just get changed, run out and it was- um, behind the shed, and I used to just go up and down the garden. And one day I came running in, and I ran out, and I couldn't see it. And I went to the back door, my mum was washing up, and I went, where's my go-kart? She went, your dad swapped it. Your dad swapped it? Yeah. With his, it was, it was his mate, Jimmy, in the pub. He went, it's, it's, I said, what, ah. Oh. She went, yeah, he swapped it for a wheelbarrow. So I went and looked back and there was this wheelbarrow, right, <laughs> that was obviously just came off a building site. Yeah. Covered in concrete. I couldn't- it was steel, right, ch I could hardly move it. Yeah. And I went back and I went, really? She went, yeah, it's your wheelbarrow. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm thinking so, that so my dad- my dad lost a wheelbarrow that day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I used to- I used to push that up and down, it wasn't the same. And you used to the, push the wheelbarrow up yeah, and down? Anything I mean, in there or? No, I just like to try- I was just trying to sort of keep myself amused. Yeah. But anyway, that summer, I went on holiday. And uh, I went to Bargainer with my mum and my nan. Um, <laughs> Another wild holiday. Yeah, yeah. And I was sort of out, out by my caravan and I, I made friends uh, with this, this kid and he'd hired a go-kart from the, the caravan, is that right? And I remember him going around there and uh, I was, it, was, it was great. And I said, <laughs> and I said, I've got a go-kart. <laughs> and the caravan window opened and my mum said, don't lie. <laughs> You've uh, got a wheelbarrow. <laughs> <laughs> Be truthful. <laughs> <laughs> I went, I had a go-kart. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's so tragic. Yeah. What did you ever really forgive him for that? I'd never forgive him, my dad, if he'd swapped a go-kart for a wheelbarrow. I just thought that's par for the course, isn't Yeah. It? You know what I mean? You yeah. They're in charge. Sure. Did you used to rush home and change and- <laughs> 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 Yeah. Into that sort of gardener's gear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Straight into your hard hat and dungarees. <laughs> I could- Mum, any bricks need moving. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. dear. Oh, that's so tragic. Yeah. Yeah. Still, yeah. that was your happiest day. Yeah. Beautiful car. So that's, that's the one that sprung to mind. Yeah. Yeah, and my, un my unhappiest. You see how, how go-karts can be good or bad? <laughs> Does that make you think, Carl, that yeah. the go-kart is, you know, is good and evil? <laughs> yeah. Play a record. Oh, I'm so upset. Ads. Yeah, and when we do, it's ruined by impressing the wrong button. Yeah. yeah but I've got some planning here. Go on right. then. Uh, Quizzes. What, what I did was, when I was on holiday, yeah. right, I, I, you, you said, you know, come up with a new idea, right? Mm. So the best way of coming up with ideas is sort of, um... <laughs> Thinking. Sort of nicking a, a TV show name and then twisting it a bit. Yeah. So... Or just rip off Simon, Ma Simon Mayo's idea completely. That's right. good advice did, for anyone out there. I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, If you're interested in, in ideas. See, uh, Carl is presently, uh, um, running a course right in for TV. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and that, that's the lesson one, isn't it? Just that's rip something else off. Just, just right. do it. Yeah, change the title slightly. Yeah, well, go this, on. This one, I haven't really got a... I don't know what to do on the game, but I'm thinking, uh, <laughs> st strike it, Ricky. <laughs> I, I that's all you've got. That's uh, that's what you've come up I with. How long did that, that take? Through. What is that? I just thought it sounded a bit like lucky. <laughs> forget that one then. <laughs> yeah, forget that one. Okay, yeah. well, no, right. no, no, good. No, no, we all have we all have hits of this. Even Spielberg's not all his films, you know, can hit the. Uh, go on. Right. No, okay, no, it's a good. It's, uh, go on. Yeah. Do you remember uh, Big Brother? Yeah. Do I remember Big Brother? No, go on. <laughs> Big Mother, right? You call in. <laughs> if your mum's ever, you win a CD. Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? How can you- how can you prove that? Alright, forget that. <laughs>
Right, ER. Here's one. <laughs> right, ER. Good one, no, ER. No, no, no. Yeah. No. The price is right, remember that? Yeah. yeah. Right. The price is Ricky? No. The rice is right. <laughs> and what I do, I read from an Indian menu and a Chinese menu, you tell me whether you have pilau or egg fried. <laughs> <laughs> He's a genius, isn't he? He really is a right. modern- I that one. Let, go on then, do, go into the, let's, let's go into this one. Let, let's not cross this off right away. Go on then, what do, you read from what? Well, I've got- I, I've, I get a couple of menus from like an Indian or a, and a Chinese takeaway. Yeah. yeah. And I'll go like, uh, right, um, oh, chicken korma. Well, could I just suggest that as it's an Indian, it'll be pilau and anything you read out that is- Yeah, but you don't know which one I'm reading from. What the chicken korma's Indian, isn't it? Yeah, so you go pilau. <laughs> but then- but then- Well, you, then you might as well say Indian or Chinese. <laughs> no, because then the, the name wouldn't work. The rice is right. <laughs> okay, yeah, I forgot you're working for the title backwards, aren't you? Okay, yeah. Okay. I'm so confused. <laughs> <laughs> I don't right. know where I am or what, what I, day I, it is. I, pro I program that they've been in on Channel 4, right? Can you cross that out? Is, We're not doing the rice is right either. I don't understand right. the rice is right. No, go I'll on. tell you that later. We'll have a game in the office, right? <laughs> um, a, a game that they've been in on Channel 4 but has got really big viewing figures. Well, obviously not. Right. Or they wouldn't be binning it. Go on. Do you know 15 to 1? Yeah. They're getting rid of that, right? Are they? I'm thinking 15 Taiwan. <laughs> get some items that are made in Taiwan, right? Get 15 items and y and I say what they are and then you go, oh, I bet it's the vase or something. That's one that's made in Taiwan. Yeah. <laughs> Just explain that again very quickly. <laughs> no, don't go. Oh, cross forget it out. That, forget that. Cross it out. 15 Taiwan. <laughs> right. Go on. This is the one that I've prepared for because I think this is, this, this is, is not daft, this is good. Let's play a tune in this here after that. <laughs> oh God. I'm you very sure? excited. <laughs> are we gonna play it after that or are we gonna say- No, you can explain no, it after that. I'm right. very excited. <laughs> Good to hear that again, isn't it, Steve? Oh, fantastic. Waiting on a friend by the Rolling Stones. Yeah? Go on then, Carl. On XFM 104.9, <laughs> Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, Carl Wilson. Go on. Right, this one. Um, remember Blockbusters? Uh-huh. Right, this one, this one is good and we'll do this one. Uh, rock busters. And remember how Bob Olmos used to give you a letter? Yeah. And, uh, um, it'd give you a question and the answer to that question is that letter. Yes. Yeah. Right, well it works like that. So if I said to you, um, yeah, we'll test it out on you, Steve, right? Um, right, welcome to the show on that. Hello. Um, let's, let's play, right? Okay. And I say, right, your first one is W. Mm-hmm. Um, and the cryptic clue, cause it's done like crosswords. Okay. Um, so not quite like blockbusters. Well, um, this young man prepared for his death, right. and it's a W. So the answer, and it's not always going to be like our sort of music. It can be any sort of music that's out there. So the W is the name of of the answer. I understand that, but is the answer always the band name, or is it? Is yeah. it, it it's always the band name, is it, or the artist? Yeah. And it, and so would the W be the surname, or would you have both the initials if it was? someone's name. Would Elvis Presley be EP? Don't no. get annoyed, Carl. No. These are, these, <laughs> these these are questions, questions that I knew would be asked. <laughs> I know this, he tested it on me. So you've got to tell them. Well, this is the point. The rules. If, if it was Elvis, I'd probably do, uh, I'd do E. No, 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 give him the answer. Give him the right. answer. Did you hear the clue? No, give me the clue again then. So the, the, the letter is It w. is a cryptic clue it's and the w. clue's fine. Listen, and the clue on. is, this young man prepared for his death. This young man prepared for his death. Yeah. This young man prepared for his death. And it's a W. And it's his first name. That's what he needs well, to see, know. Well, see, that's the, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I don't- Well, shouldn't we have the initials? Wouldn't that make it easier? I mean, yeah, but they didn't do that on Blockbusters, it just had one letter. Yeah, they did. No, they did. They, they did. did if it was a, uh, if- A gold one they often had a f three or four. Did they? Letters, yeah. Well, it was normally just one word. It wouldn't have been a name or something. Mm. All right, then. W- W, uh, Y. W, Y. Will Young. Excellent. Right, I didn't so understand it. What was the young will man, prepared young... for? This young man. So he's sort of yeah. mixed, mixed sort of cryptic. Yeah. But I mean, you know, is there, there's yeah, a good that's better than usual. No, it's, that is better than it's usual. not bad, is it? So should we, do you want to play, let's play Rockbusters. Yeah, Rockbusters. Uh, yeah. So how many of these have you got? No, cause no, just, 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 wait, 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 wait. let's just clarify a couple of rules here, Carl. Let's just make sure we thought everything through, cause I'm pretty certain when they get these things on TV, they at least have a go at them in the office first, <laughs> before they put them straight on there. I'm sure that's how it works. I'm sure Bob Ollis just didn't turn up the first day, and he goes, up, we're all wingy, it'll be fine. Bring the students in, let's have a go. I'm sure they did uh, a bit of preparation. So let's just check, uh, we've got everything, every base covered. Yeah, I've Firstly, got... how many questions have they got I'll tell you what, let's do this off air then. Should we play a great, a great tune? 
Well, yeah. Well, people need to call in, don't they? Because we're doing it, aren't we? Yeah. It'll be all right. And there's there's good stuff. I've got uh, CDs, right? I've got um, some compilation stuff and a couple of videos and that. So that's what they're playing for. Uh huh. Um, call up now. Oh eight seven hundred eight hundred one two three four. Get them on the air. We'll play the game. Brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Is that oh, what we're doing? Bit of the cure. Oh, that's from that uh, Cure Greatest Hits uh, I'm gonna compilation. I'm going to have a heart attack. I you really get uh, am. an extra it's bonus CD on certain copies, and that's uh, an acoustic version of Just Like Heaven. Fantastic. He hasn't thought it through. I know. We've just right, spent we've three, of three and a half minutes trying to figure out the rules yeah, of this game. Yeah, right. We've got it now. I'm sorry for people to call in. The, the lines are going mental. Right, so hold on, everybody. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do an ad break. We're just we're gonna figure out how to play the game. Exactly. We're gonna get two ads. people on there and we're gonna play it. So, uh, XFM and that. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. For my birthday. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Johnson, I'm really excited about the job. Can I call you back? I'm just going to negotiate with a whore. <laughs> <laughs> and it was just, it was like it was just sort of, you could tell that she was clearly probably desperate for crack or a latest yeah. fix of smack. So she was literally she, the normal etiquette of prostitution. You know that they hang around, they show some thigh. <laughs> I've seen this in <laughs> they films. Will, will ya? Yeah, they exactly. Will, yeah, yeah, yeah. Take you out for a meal. All that know, sort of thing. That had sort of gone out of the window, and yeah, she was just sure. there, desperate, running around. Did she the go out of the window? Like because girl. that's <laughs> another thing they sometimes do, specialist exactly. ones. But I was yeah. shocked because I've never been uh, propositioned before like that. Really? In London, I was it's weird, there. isn't it? Carl, thoughts? I. I think you'd be sort of approached a lot because they tend to <laughs> sort of go for people who look like they haven't got much chance. Sure. And I'm not being mean. No, you know, no, 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 no. What do you mean? Sorry, I'll, I'll let you go back to it. In what way aren't you being mean? By saying that no, Steve- Steve, Steve knows is a little bit odd looking. <laughs> I don't think- well- <laughs> No, he does. Do you know, do you know yeah, before- no, no, but it's not whether what he thinks of his looks, no, no. it's what he thinks of you talking about his looks. On no, but it's Go it's on. like how you were talking before about, you know, your eyes are bad. It's nature's little way of saying, look, nothing to see here, right? <laughs> I don't get that. I don't know what you mean. What well, when you look in the mirror and that, they've gone, look, he hasn't got the looks. Let's make his eyes bad, right? Yeah. Nothing to see here. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. See, balancing I... it out, right? Yeah. And it's funny, right? Now we're on the topic. Sorry, sorry, right, Johnny wasn't... Depp. Now listen, <laughs> but. <laughs> My my chest is gonna burst at this but moment. All, whenever we go into this conversation, I always think to myself, Carl, do you know what you look like? <laughs> I I'm gonna. <laughs> do you know, seriously, can I be honest with you? I you look like you know if you've got like a balloon, a hot air balloon, like right, just a little balloon, like a party balloon. <laughs> if you drew a little face on it, right, and inflated it about halfway, that's what you look like. <laughs> this is nice. This is nice. Right. I so. No, listen, got play a record. No, I don't want to get into this. Listen, it's too now, intense. Now, now you've you've got onto this. Let's just nip it in the bud. Now I'll tell you something that I wasn't going to tell you because I think it was I don't want to hear it. I don't want to well, hear it. Right, it was on the tube. Right, well I was. Someone told me they were on the tube. Mm. Right, and um, it uh, the, the tube pulled into a station. <laughs> right, and one of the women saw the poster that's yeah. out at the moment with you and Rick on it. Right, yeah. so this this woman apparently goes, uh, "Oh look, there's uh, Ricky. Ricky's on the radio." Right. And uh, the other woman goes, oh yeah, d d don't you listen to it? So she goes, oh, I didn't, I didn't know he was on the radio. And she goes, oh. <laughs> sorry, Steve. Look, I'm sorry, look at I'm sorry, because you didn't look, <laughs> sound this bad. When... <laughs> she said, oh, look at that, look at that person he's with. So she goes, yeah, 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 yeah. She said, that's Steve. She said, I'm kind of, I was, I sort of aware that he looked odd because Carl mentions it on the radio. Yeah. So, so it wasn't as much of a blow to me, but I can see how it was a bit of a shock to you. Yeah. So, uh, that's 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 weird, isn't it? Yeah. And that isn't me, sort of telling this woman to say anything. That was all happened without anybody else sort of bringing it on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, was it? Sorry, you seem to be relishing this. Was it because of the little balloon story that made you? I, I honestly, see, I want to told you, but if you're going to start, you know, having a pop. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I'm yeah. not, I can't just sit here and take sure. it and that. No, no. I mean, yeah. all mates. Yeah, it's just, uh, yeah. Well, I mean, I was just mistaken for Johnny Vegas. Steve's got a story about that. <laughs>
It's Pleasant Valley Sunday. Brilliant. XFM 104.9, Carl Pilkington. This show is monkey heavy, isn't it? It is monkey heavy. Carl, if you were president, would you sort of make a compulsory to maybe have a little, little monkey? Everyone has a little monkey of their own? Little chimps out and out, old age pensioners? It's not a bad little, uh... It's funny, you know, cos there was, um, <laughs> a story the other day, uh, when I was looking for monkey news. Right? <laughs> <laughs> um... Yeah. There's a story about a couple who, who couldn't have any kids, right? There's something wrong with them, but they really wanted a kid. And they got some, uh, dodgy email address where they could buy a baby online, oh, right? Wow. It was someone who would have a kid and you could buy it for three grand or something, right? Yeah. So anyway, they got one, they got picked, and they're like, brilliant, there's the money. Got the baby and everything, they were loving it. Um, you know, playing with it and stuff. As it got older... Feeding it. <laughs> it got airier. <laughs> oh, shut the f- Oh, car! Turned out they've been sold a chimp. <laughs> you, you maniac, you stupid mank twat. How Don't talk shit. That is as if that- <laughs> Uh, uh, what? They didn't know it was oh, don't talk! <laughs> are you are you mental? <laughs> you I love the fact that, that didn't make it into monkey news. I know. Yeah, uh, they. Well, uh, it's a bit sad though. We don't like to bring they bring bought the feature a, down. Yeah. But and anyway. how long was this? Into uh, it got hairier. They're born hairy. <laughs> no, <laughs> They're not born like humans. Then develop hair because they go. Hold on, we better chi we better get the chimp stuff kicking in now because we're in the jungle. School photograph. Do I like, hang on a minute? <laughs> It looks a bit weird. <laughs> oh, you are just the mad, the, the rubbish. Mad, isn't it? Mad, isn't it? <laughs> mad, isn't it? Imagine, oh God, but just anyway. imagine if he was in charge. We did put him in charge of the country. Right, tell the story about the man I'll cover. Right, in the same magazine as uh, as the one with the with the cat and the fire and that. Don't tell me that story again, it gives me the shit. Yeah, a cat that's <laughs> got a weird expression on his yeah. face is well, against God. Anyway, this isn't a scary story, this was just, uh, like physics. Explained. Physics. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it was right. going on about the, uh, nuclear bomb and uh, how powerful it is. And, uh, <laughs> they put, they put a manhole cover on top of one. <laughs> okay. Blew it up. Yeah. Never saw the manhole cover again. <laughs> <laughs> Man alive, Carl. <laughs> Unexplained. What's no. going on there? Something weird is happening there. <laughs> oh. If anyone has ever seen that Man on cover, <laughs> yeah, uh, please yeah. get in touch. We'd love to know where it is. Oh, that's fantastic. Finally, White Van Man, what do you make of the fact that Sainsbury's are bringing in square tins? <laughs> 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 is, is that, that true? a concern for you? <laughs> is that true? Apparently so. Why? Don't know. Like it's easier to stack. Oh, this is what the guy in the uh, sun has said. That should be interesting. For <laughs> 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 that should be. <laughs> <laughs> His comment on <laughs> Sainsbury's are bringing in square tins <laughs> is no. Is that should be interesting for meatballs. <laughs> Ricky's just oh. collapsed on the floor. Let's just play a song, Carl. I don't think even you can top that. <laughs>